The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. And live from Trinity Christian Academy, it's Jackson Christian Football on the Jackson Christian Facebook brought to you by Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz. The production tonight will be from Worthy Road Studios and we'll tell you about the fine people that's producing it. We've got the crew here. we got a full crew including the executive producer, Paul Schultze. Now, tonight we have this game. There will be other games tomorrow night as USJ and Peabody will play. And, of course, they, he has Union University sports, and he also has the Rockabilly baseball and just added his Bethel football. Now, tonight's game, bring, uh, two teams playing for number one in the region. They are both undefeated in the region. Jackson Christian 9-0 and overall, and... Trinity Christian Academy is 7-2. and two. Doing color tonight, the voice of the PA system himself, Tommy McLean. Tommy, glad to have you with us tonight. Man, I can't think of anywhere I'd rather be than tonight. Absolutely. And uh, it is a great night for football. The field, I believe it is senior night here at TCA. It looks that way. And uh, we have people approaching and uh, – Feel, this is a turf feel, but it looks like a AstroTurf feel. It's well manicured. Their mm -hmm. coaches have done a good job, and, of course, uh, we have it. They have a jumbotron just like we do now, and, of course, we'll tell you about this game. Tommy has seen as much or more, really seen more, uh, Jackson Christian football than I have. Uh, Tommy, do you remember us ever being undefeated at this point in the season? No, th this is our best season by far. Uh, a couple years ago, I think we were 7-0, and and we went into a bye week and, and came back and, and had a little letdown. So, yeah, yeah this this is the best season we've had so we've far. We've carried it to 9-0, and it seems like, is it deja vu, or were we just here last year when Lance Rowland caught that one with, what, about 30 seconds left yeah. in the contest? Uh, last year was exciting because we also had Jalen Mosley throw one in from 65 or 75 feet in uh, in their gymnasium. So oh yeah, yeah the uh, yeah at the yeah I remember that the uh, three pointer that uh, clinched the game. And you see a great picture as they honor their young people. And uh, I'm sure that if you want to see that part of it, uh, Diamond Dave McCulley is doing the broadcast. He is one of the best broadcasters in the world for TCA, both schools under Worthy Road Studios. I see my friend Dexter Williams, who is the head basketball coach in AD here, and uh, we were talking before the ball game. But I'm glad to have Tommy here. Tommy, what's a couple of things you expect tonight? Uh, you know, just a good football game. I mean, these kids know each other. They run around with each other. Uh, hopefully keep the emotion out and um, just to have a good – I mean, Trinity's offense has really came on in the last uh, two or three weeks. And, of course, our offense has been there all year. It so. sure has. Well, you know, a lot of people did not believe me when I told them that this Trinity team – would be much better at the end of the year and that they were a right. good team. They just made some mistakes early they're not making now. Right. And uh, let me read you something, and I want your thoughts. And, again, this is Jackson Christian football, and we are letting you – we're giving you bonus coverage. We cannot pick up their PA system, but uh, they are having senior night and a very nice ceremony. Okay, here we go. Seven things I'm going to read to you. A guy named General Nalen wrote these. All right. The team that makes the fewest mistakes will win. Yep. Okay. Play for and make the breaks when one comes your way score. Right. If, it, if at first the game or the breaks go against you, don't let up. Put more steam on. Right. Protect our kickers, quarterbacks, our lead, and our ball game. Yep. 
I think the general pretty smart. Five ball, Oski cover. And Oski is the term that General Nalen used for an interception, and that's what their players hollered. Right. Ball, Oski cover, block, cut, slice, pursue, gang tackle, for this is the winning edge. I'd say you agree with number five, don't you? No doubt. And press the kicking game. Here is where the breaks are made. Right. And carry the fight to our opponent and keep it there, in our case, for 48 minutes and not 60 like they right. do in college. The general, if we do what the general says do, we will win. Oh, no doubt. Uh, pretty smart guy. I mean, they named the stadium after him. So. They sure did, and he actually is still, uh, I know percentage-wise he is the winningest yeah. coach in UT history and stuff, but Darby Palmer, our head coach, is the winningest coach, coach in Jackson Christian exactly. history. Darby's a fine young man. Uh, uh, you know, I've liked Darby ever since he came over, and he, he's got these kids believing in themselves and in him and in the program, and that's all you can do as a head coach. Absolutely, and uh, I believe his record at the school is either 50 and 28 or 49 and 28. I'll have to look. I have it written down. And, of course, a great coaching staff, Rob Phillips, defensive coordinator, Will Reichert, offensive coordinator, Alan Irvin, Lewis Gillum, Brian Bullock, Josh White, Chuck Ray, Greg Armour, Chase McLean, and the newest addition, Avery Williamson. Uh, they've done a good job this year. Oh, man. It's like I said, this is the best season that I ever remember Jackson Christian having. So. Absolutely. We run out of the spread formation. Sometimes it's the pistol. Sometimes it's the pure spread. A 3-4 set is our defense. We return four offensive starters from last year. But here, and they have shown it this year, eight defensive starters, Tommy. You've seen that defense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know those kids. And Tommy likes that defense, too. Yeah. Also, now for TCA, of course, their head coach is Darren Bowling. He has a 231 and 104 record. He's won some state championships. His coaching staff is Nathan Bibb, Will Brashear, and Thomas Henderson, and Michael Mancini. And I believe Mancini, don't know if he's still doing the offensive coordinating, but he had an important. Darren um, likes the option play. He has run the spread. He used to get into a wing or a double wing T formation. Uh, he says offense is multiple, and we're really multiple too because right. we have slots, we have trips, we have stacks. Their defensive set, they'll run multiple looks, and I'm sure he's designed one for us. They'll probably try to bracket Jalen Mosley. I, I would imagine. Uh, surely they're not going to, you know, I, I haven't seen a, a team yet that have tried to cover him one-on-one -on -one and have been successful for the whole game. Now, the poop sheet that I have says four offensive starters. They played a lot of these kids last year on offense. Right. And then they have five defensive starters. And, again, when Blake Butler was here, he used a lot of people at that. Tommy, before we take our first break, any thoughts for the Jackson Christian fans? Uh, not really. Like I said, just expect a good game. Uh, you know, we know them. They know us. Uh, and, and I'm going to give you a, a, a quote from Will Stockdale from No Time for Sergeants. Yep. We don't really hate them. We just ain't real fond of them. That's a pretty good quote. Yeah, and so. Andy Griffith played Will Stockdale, exactly. didn't he? Yeah. yeah. See, I knew Tommy. Tommy is going to bring you some color that, I, you know, doing it by yourself, a one-man gang, that's okay for wrestling, right. but not for broadcasting. And we will be checking our Internet because we always get some good messages. Now, we are about to take our first break as they finish up their uh, senior night. I want to call it homecoming, but it is actually senior night. You are with Worthy Road Studios and the Jackson Christian Facebook. You've got time to alert folks that this game, and you want to get the Jackson Christian side of it and see from our viewpoint. And uh, we'll take a catch. Uh, it won't be by Lance Rowland this year, or we'll take it any way we can get it. Tommy, I probably would take it three to nothing win go home right now uh, well it uh, I, my, I don't know if my stomach could take a three to nothing win yeah. right now i'd like to be a little bit more decisive well i think there's gonna be a lot of scoring in this contest and as we go to break we'll take this time out we'll be back with more on jackson christian's facebook Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians, York and McCoy's Heating and Air. 
Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. We are back here at Trinity Christian Academy. Wow. Coach Joe Holloway and Tommy McLean, our fine PA man at Jackson Christian School is doing color tonight. We are blessed to have him with us tonight. He is a very astute gentleman. And uh, Tommy, I know they uh, want to throw the ball to Waller, but they like to run Lakai Thompson, their big running back. Right. And he is a truckload. We're going to have to tackle our best that we've done all season. Yeah, we're going we're to definitely have to wrap up. Uh, one good thing, or I don't know if it's good, but uh, – Tompkins runs a little bit like Eddie George. He runs straight up, yeah. so he gives you them legs if you want to take them. So. Very powerful young man, though. Has 22 touchdowns. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we have to deal with a tall Braden Waller. Right. He has 13 touchdowns. And uh, we did a pretty good job on him, although he got loose last year, I think, for one touchdown on either a post or a, a flag. He wears number eight. And uh, he is multi-talented. He can return punts, kickoffs, et cetera. He can do what he wants to. And I think I have seen him in the pass uh, throw, a, throw a pass throw or, a pass. or two. And, uh, of course, their quarterback, one of the most, I won't say improved because he's a young man and he's uh, gaining all the time, is Junior Cooper Vales. Right. He has thrown for 22 touchdowns wow. this year. And uh, so they've got some exciting uh, talent. Uh, they've got kids like Nick Jones, uh, Delk, Joshua Delk does a great job for them. Cooper Vales, Nate Pagagua, Caleb Williams, uh, the coach, uh, the AD son, is also who's a great basketball player. He's pretty good wide out also. And um, then they've got a guy they they have nicknamed him. I think Dam and Dave did. Uh, Hammering Hank Miller. He wears 22, and he can play running back, linebacker. He could even go out for passes. So those are, are some of the skill positions to right. to watch. But let's talk about Jackson Christian School for a moment. We've got our own. We got uh, that have pretty good. Austin Kelly. Every time he throws a touchdown pass, sets, sets a, a new, new record, record. Mm -hmm. and, and that's something. Deuce Lawrence has really come on as a sophomore running back and, and done a great job. Uh, 
And, of course, Deuce has scored six touchdowns. We'll give you right. his yardage. But you know what? A lot of people don't know this. Zero, a junior, Easton, Easton Jones. Easton Jones. Five touchdown runs also. And uh, a senior that doesn't get to start but plays. Everett Scott's got three touchdowns right. by the run. Austin Kelly sits at 34 touchdown passes. And uh, you know what? Elijah looks like he's starting to get – DeMoss is getting the right. rust off of him a little bit. Thought mm -hmm. he looked good last week. Right. And, of course, Jalen Mosley, everybody talks about him. ESPN before the season had him ranked at 138. I think he has cracked the uh, top 20 in his receivers right. in his group uh, on rankings nationally. And Jalen has 23 touchdown receptions. Wow. But if you cover him and forget about somebody else, oh. the big man, the guy that rumbles, and uh, he will rumble on you. Six touchdowns for Daniel Green, and Easton Jones has taken a couple to the house, as has Trent Carrier. So we have a lot of people like that that can do some stuff on offense. And, of course, we have the jumbo backfield. Uh, will it be a night that Caleb Newsom in the jumbo backfield has right. to get down on the goal line and punch one in for us? Yeah, yeah. Uh like I said, I, that's the one thing I really have enjoyed about this year's uh, Eagle team is they distribute it. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's certain people step up on, you know, we'll have a hero every week, seems like. Uh, one week it'll be Jalen. Uh, the next week, Jack Walker, uh, Trent Carrier, Easton, every one of them stepping up and doing and they just disperse it. So, you know. Well, you know, uh, this is field now. Last year, defensively, Jack Collins had a great game here. Oh, yeah. Last year, he broke up some passes, Had I believe had a big pick over here. And this is a place, and like I said, I'm still looking to my left at that corner of the end zone. And in my mind, I can see Lance Rowland, whose brother Blake is right. the, one of the starting safeties. And uh, let's talk about our defense, though, oh, a little man. bit. Kai White. Ooh. Uh, leads the pack as the middle linebacker, but Caleb Newsom has eight sacks. Right. Gavin Walker, our fine junior defensive end, wears 18. He has three sacks, and, of course, Kai has a sack and a half, but Kai makes a lot of tackles, and he goes from yeah. side to side. Well, you know, Kai has had a lot of tackles, but the, the one man that, that doesn't probably get as much recognition is Cedric Anderson. He's right there in the middle, and he's freeing up Kai because two or three people are trying to block him, which frees Kai up to make the tackles. And then Cedric, Big Cedric can shut the A-gap yep. on both sides down pretty well. Right. And Tommy, that astute. I told you Tommy is an astute color man. He knows these things. Interceptions, Jalen's leading with three. Kai's got two. Easton's got two. And we got several people with one, one interception. And here's the stat I was looking for. Kai White has 7.3 tackles per wow. game. Now, wow. Caleb's not far behind him at right. five a game. And Big Cedric has four. And we've got our crew thing. And we want to thank Stephanie. Uh, Janda, who is here. The two big receivers are Waller in this game and Jalen Mosley. Jalen's averaging 157.8 yards per game. Wow. And that is – that's that's not bad. Yeah. That is not bad. And like I said, 23 receiving touchdowns and a lot to be said about that. Tommy, any thoughts on the stats and stuff before we take our next time out? No, man. I'm just ready to get this thing started. I'm excited. Um like I said, I know I know the boys are pumped up. They got out of school a little early, but because uh, of some uh, issues that they had working at uh, electricity at school. But uh, like I said, I hope that doesn't uh, interrupt their uh, rhythm. And uh, when the whistle blows and we get started, they get at it. You and me both. But as a former coach. I worry about things yeah. like that because you have a routine that you go through. Right. And, and you go through your classes, you go through this. If you have pep sessions or whatever, then you've got a time you eat your pregame meal and all that. And right. Disruptions, um, we'll see. Now, the thing, remember General Nayland talked about that, and we've done that already this year. Uh, we had a Murphy's Law game up at Good Pasture yeah. and overcame that. There wasn't anything that couldn't have gone wrong, and it did. And we came back from it, a great second-half performance. And uh, like I said, that's what we're looking for. Big plays, you, you think about don't make the mistakes, don't get the penalties, the fumbles, the yeah. interceptions. But big plays could tell the difference yeah. too. Protect the protect the rock, you know, turnovers. Uh, and like I said, interceptions, uh, just protect it. 
Absolutely, and I am going to quote Darby Palmer one more time. Each young man for Jackson Christian needs to own their 111. Exactly. You own your 111th, and we're going to be all right. We're going to take another time out here on the Worthy Road Studios Network along with the Jackson Christian Facebook. We'll be back after these important messages. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. And back at Trinity Christian Academy, Coach Joe Holloway and Tommy McLean bringing you Jackson Christian football. Undefeated in both, both teams are in the region. Jackson Christian undefeated overall. And Tommy, we are getting ready. Our captains have not come out yet. And of course, only four of them can cross the um, hash marks out right. there for Trinity. And we have uh, a six also, right. and only four of ours can go across. And I, I'm like you, I'm trying to pick all the captains up we, we can generally, Tommy and I, obviously, will be able to identify our young men a little easier. Right. It looks like for Trinity, uh, 56, Halen Wilkerson, 66, um, Harrison Vance, 0, Nick Jones, and uh, number 55, Daniel Cashian, are going to be the ones going out to the middle. And then you got uh, two other kids, number 63, uh, Nicholas Reddick, and number 13, uh, Caleb Kime that are going to stay back. Absolutely. And Ben Vargerson and Shane Sisko are watching. And, Ben, uh, your store, Great American Sports, which is a sponsor of Jackson Christian Sports, great job. I got three new shirts. My man, Wesley Freeman, that works there. Wesley took good care of it. The embroidery is always great. You ought to see those fancy Jackson Christian letters and initials, Tommy, of my new shirts. And I'm wearing my Worthy Road one, though, tonight oh, okay. because, well, on the road to get in, it makes it a little easier when I wear my Worthy Road shirt. Right. And uh, we got some other. Peggy Milam is watching, and Miss Peggy, glad to have you on there. T.J. Mosley, the great running back from Southside. I remember oh, him man. carrying the mail to touchdown against Milan for Coach Jerry Hayes. T.J., he says, go Eagles, baby. And we are with you. Glad to have you on. And, T.J., sometime we need to get you on the Saturday Sports Roundup. He, like his son, a great running back. And um, I remember when you carried, you had, I believe, a cramp that night, and he fought and limped his way into the touchdown. Wow. And you almost didn't know that he had the uh, rock-hard calf muscle from the cramp, but what a runner he was. Sheila Allen Young is listening and sends a big heart to the Eagles. And, the Eagles captains have made their appearance. Of course, to our right, the victory line has formed for Trinity, and they've got one of those little tunnels that you run through with a line on it. We're on the road, and our young men will make their appearance. You see on our screen the captains coming out there and a very familiar set of young men. Vic Cedric's got that hat on. He's already ready to play. Oh, yeah. And you see Daniel Green with his back to us. And, of course, uh, what a great crew we have over there. Uh, you saw Ty Smith a minute ago uh, 
Ty Sr. going to miss him and Daniel, all our seniors. Cedric, right. fine young men. They come to Hub City Deli on Tuesdays. And need to remind everybody, the Hub City Deli show will be on Monday night this upcoming week of Halloween week. Okay. And they will bring the captains for both teams out. Tom, uh, we may have a break here before we do it. Let's take a, a timeout, and when we come back, we'll have the coin toss. Tonight, our anthem. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. And we are back after a great rendition of the National Anthem. And, of course, uh, during the National Anthem, I spotted one of my former players, and that would be one Kristen Gehring. She is now Kristen Gehring Lee. Unfortunately, right. her children play for the opposition. And three fine girls players, two of them were missed basketball, one awful close. Gabe Lee uh, leads a TCA team in her interceptions, I believe, with five, Tommy. Right. And so we and I see sitting right in front of me is Coach Johnny Williams. I believe that's his wife and Lee, his daughter. In front of him, there is a Williams that plays on this team, and I believe that's his grandson. Okay. And you see Nick Jones and Tommy. I'm going to turn the coin toss over to you. And uh, the officials are, are explaining the. Uh, coin toss of course we'll have the option we'll call it and i'm sure if we win it we, we want the ball that's what we normally do absolutely now, i do have a question I, i've sat here and noticed the 25 second clock is dead over here should they not turn the other one off if one of them's dead you would think and you know what we i agree with you that it should be the same on both sides it gives you an advantage right they may not run this one Jackson Christian will receive the football first. Oh, yeah. And the Eagles and the Lions waiting to make their appearance. Of course, we'll get stats. And Kyle Teichman is watching. Joe Martin says, go Eagles. Michael Yarber's watching. And TJ, I just need to get you to call me. And if you need to get Jalen, get my phone number, or I'll call you. And we'll get you set up for one of those Saturday appearances. 
Uh, and again, T.J. Mosley, one of the great running backs at Southside. Here come the Eagles. It's football time in Jackson, Tennessee. And I still want to sign the guy that carries the flag for us out there. He's got good speed. I'm telling you, he needs he need to be playing. The Lions have made their appearance, and, of course, we're in front of their home crowd, or we're actually behind them. So you'll get a lot of their noise. We've got a full house, Tommy, across the way. Good contingent. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's a good turnout for a Thursday night, no doubt. Absolutely. John M. Robinson is watching. He says, go Eagles. And we are just about ready for football. And it's going to be loud because we're evidently close to a speaker. Yeah. And uh, I don't know this officiating crew. Hopefully we will. Well, I know there should be one of them. Steve Phillips should be one right. of them. And this may be Gerald Parrish's crew. I am oh, not nice. sure. Gerald Parrish. We Parrish's. need to check the white hat out. Okay. But I do know Steve. Steve, one of the best officials that we have in the TWSAA. This is supposed to be a seven-man crew. Right. And that looks a little bit like Gerald down there in the end zone, doesn't that, it? That does. Gerald has a distinctive walk, folks. Right. And, uh, He's a, officiated basketball for years yeah. and years. But. Now, we'll give you the starters. You pretty well know who they are. Kelly, Deuce, Lawrence, et cetera. We'll do that. And uh, one of the things that – and we have them at our field, too, is drones going across there. I've watched a high school football game where a punt knocked a drone out of the air. I saw that. And uh, TCA will kick it off. They'll kick it off from their 40. You know that Mosley is one of the deep men. I'll bet you any amount of money you want to bet they kick it away from Mosley. The kicker is Joshua Delk. He's a junior. Mosley, Easton Jones, and Jack Collins. Normally I can't see, but that looks like Jack far to the side. Uh, that is Jack. Go and over. I know it's Easton. I don't even have to see his right. number. Dalk approaches the football. It's in the air, and it's going towards Jack over his head, and we'll start for one of the few times this year on our 20-yard line, first and 10. And, uh, Kelly will be the quarterback. Deuce Lawrence at running back. Green, the tight end. The wideouts, Carrier, Collins, and Mosley. Okay, they do have both 25-second clocks working. Now they're working. Yeah. Okay. Now I just got to find I'm having to use a different set of – Stat sheets tonight. This could be interesting. We open with a technically an empty backfield, although we got an H back or a wing back if you prefer. We shift to the right. The strength of our formation. They send Mosley in motion. It's going to be the jet sweep. Mosley cuts it off that outside gap, bounces it outside. He's got 10. He's got 15. He's got about 21 yards yeah. and a first down. Uh, nothing fancy. Just took the ball, went to the outside, and Jalen doing what Jalen does. Mosley getting that initial first down. And let's see, Tommy, they say he picked up. Yeah, well, they, they say he's down, so a 19-yard 19 pickup. Yard, yeah. Help me with these yardage right. and the tacklers, too. Okay. First and 10 for the Eagles with one man in the backfield. They pull a guard. Deuce Lawrence gets through for a gain of maybe two. May have stretched it. Depends on the spot. Looks like number 54, Grayson Rasnick, made that tackle. And second down, they're going to give him four. We'll be happy to give him four. Ball is on the 43-yard line. Collins to the left. Two men in the backfield with a wing back. They'll send Mosley in motion. The TCA defense shifts. They are bracketing him. Here's the quick one, and unfortunately, we didn't get that first block made. Oh, me. Well, they could have could have thrown for a little late hit there. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, num number 22, Hank Miller, and 16, uh, Gabe Lee in on the tackle, but there was somebody that came in on after he was already down. We lose four on that play. Mosley with the catch. It's third and nine, wide side of the field, and that, when we come to the line of scrimmage, the drums are not supposed to be playing at all, Tommy. Yeah. The uh, pass is up. That's it. Mosley's yeah. got it. Good night. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
touchdown, Jalen Mosley. If he had wanted to, he could have run to City Hall that time. Yeah, it, you, you know, when he got the inside uh, inside leverage on that young man out there, I, I didn't get his number. It's either 20 or 28. It was all over. Absolutely. Austin Kelly moves the record further out. I believe it's number 20. Atwood was on the coverage. Austin will hold. Our great place kicker who takes lessons from a former UT kicker, Will Hoyt, Zach Sisko on the line, much better kicker than his daddy Shane ever was. <laughs> Have to take a little poke at Shane. Here's the snap. The kick is up. The kick looks good. The officials say, it's Coach, you're good. right. And the Eagles have taken a 7 to nothing lead. Let's take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Network. Jackson Christian leads seven to nothing after a 60 yard touchdown pass. Kelly to Mosley. Waller, who is a great return man, is deepest at about the six yard line. Now the last couple of weeks, Zach has really connected with that. Uh, you know, it puts you at a disadvantage when you start on the 20 time. Right, yeah. Nick Jones on the other side, Owen Atwood on this side. Uh, they pooched it. And they fair caught it at the 35, but there's no return that way. Hmm. That was an 80-yard drive by Jackson Christian on theirs. I have a feeling Darby will have a variety of different kicks tonight. Oh, I'm sure. Well, Cisco is watching the great wideout that played here a few years ago. Also was a pretty good soccer and uh, uh, basketball player. Wesley Freeman. The old south side quarterback, he's done color for us, and they come straight to the line with Vales at quarterback. Lakai Tompkins, the sophomore at running back, man in motion. They give straight ahead in the A-gap, and he's going to get four, if not five. It'll depend on the spot of the ball. Pretty close to five yards. Uh. Here comes a replay. And we're going to call it five. It's almost six time. Yeah. Uh, a very well, generous spot. Well, it's right on the uh, 40, so. Second down and four. They give Tompkins this time infiltration go. into the backfield. He may spin forward for a half-yard gain. We'll see where they put the ball down. Caleb Newsom in on that. And um, didn't see the other man. Tommy is so great at spotting people. He does such a great job. And it frees me to keep a little bit better stats. So it's going to bring up third and three. Seven yards for Lakai Tompkins. Sprinting right is Vales. He's got, he wants the receiver, Delk. We hit him, but he's going to have the first down. Yeah, got just enough. Got about uh, seven, six, seven yards uh, hit by uh, Jack. But uh, ball marked at the uh, and a 47. First yeah. And they go to Tompkins again. This time a big hole. We get him, but they he is really pushing forward. Yeah, Cedric Anderson in on the tackle. A gain of about seven and a half. Probably they will give him. Well, now it is seven. And he's got 14 yards and three carries. It's second down there in Jackson Christian territory. They sent Nick Jones in motion, but that was what some technology calls it fake motion because he's really going to reset himself. Right. And they hadn't called the play, so they, he can do that. Now he goes in motion. They want to run the option. There you and go. And this time we came up and bit the pitch man. That ball's out. Now they may have called forward progress. Yeah, they probably called him forward progress. 
And let's see if we can pick up who the tackle was on the replay. I didn't get it. Did you, Ty? I did not. Uh, well, it looks like Trent Carrier coming Trent off the Carrier, corner. Trent Carrier was in there, Kai Wyatt. Yeah. Uh, and 50-something, but I can't. 55, 50, that's Craig, isn't it? Yeah, Eli Craig. Yeah. Oh, penalty. Well, why didn't they call the personal foul over here? I'm, I'm sorry. I have to point that out. I don't know. Well, they marked the ball at the 33 and first down. Yeah, first down, their second one of the night. Straight ahead again to Tompkins, and he gets good yardage, and as long as they do, he gets to the 30. That'll be a pickup of about three, maybe four now when they put the stake down. He, they give him across the uh, stakes there. It's four-yard pickup. Right. Easton Jones in on that tackle. Already some interesting officiating. One pile on, not called, and I didn't see the penalty, and they're probably right there closer than we are. Yeah. We go with three down linemen, sprinting right as Vales, looking, looking. He wants to throw underneath. A good catch by Waller, and he gets away, and that's – he got knocked out of bounds, but he is slippery. Right. Yeah, it's going to be awful close. Right there at, uh, I'm surprised. Well, they're not going to measure. Stays one yard short. It is short. Now, this is not a great matchup. Jack can cover him, but Jack gives away, what, about six or eight inches? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, they're going to get Thompson. He's got the first down and more. Right. Uh, he is a force to be reckoned with. Their third first down. Ball be marked at the 17-yard uh, line. Yep, first and ten. They've got a sustained drive. They want to keep the ball away They've from us. Got an injury down. Uh, one of the Jackson Christian players down. And you always hate to see any injury like that. For Tompkins, 24 yards and five carries. I still can't see no, the I number. I can't see it either. Let's just hope the young man is okay. Tell you what let's do. Let's cut away for a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Facebook Network. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Kai Wyatt, the injured player, will be looking for him to get back. It's first and 10 on the Jackson Christian 17. They go with motion. They give to Tompkins. He bounces out to the C gap and gets a couple of tough yards there. Tommy, I did not pick up who came in at middle linebacker. Um, trying to. Gain of five. That'll bring up second down. I believe that's Eli Gay was the one that made that tackle. Uh, I did not see. We'll try to pick it up in this set and see who uh, is in at middle linebacker. He's about five yards off the line. Press coverage. They give to Tompkins outside the end. And, again, he'll be down close to the first down. It depends on where his knee hits. Tompkins with the carry, short of the first down. And he is short by a yard. So it brings up third and one. This is four down territory. Right. And I'm going to tell you, they'll go for it on fourth down if they don't make it on this. They'll tighten their formation up. Two receivers in tight to each side. They send a man in motion. They're going to go to Tompkins. There's a hole that I probably could have run through on the left side of their line. 
And another first down by the run. That's their fourth. Thirty-nine yards. It is first down and goal. Hit him. There you go. Uh, here's one for a loss. That looked like is that Caleb that's, out there? That's Caleb Newsom right there. Caleb Newsom, and it'll be second and goal. Uh, it should have been a loss on that play. He never got back to the line of scrimmage. Caleb shot out there and got him in the backfield, I believe. Uh, some interesting calls so far, and we'll need to keep an eye on that. Second and goal. Ball inside the 10. They're going to throw a lob up. Push off on No, in incomplete. They're just going to call it an incomplete pass, and it brings up third down. Yeah, it could, it, <clears throat> that could have easily been called. I, of course, I'm not over there. I don't know, but it looked like he pushed off. I saw his arm extended for offensive interference. Third and goal from approximately the seven-yard line. The hash marks to the far side are a little light, and it's part of it because that's the way the light shines on them. Trips right, man coverage, one high safety. Here's the option play. They get up there. Well, they have old Tompkins. Oh, they got it. They got him. It looks like they knocked him out of bounds. There was a host of eagles there, Tommy. Right. I, yeah. They, they're playing the option very well. That the the one guy's taking the quarterback, forcing him to pitch it, and there's a there's a whole bunch of eagles waiting on the pitch. Forty one yards on nine carries. The field goal team has come on. Number ten, David Willard, a junior is the kicker. He's going to plunk it down at the left. It's a 21-yard field goal. It's not much difference, just a few yards, then an extra There's point. point. Yeah. It's down. It's up. It's blocked. That's, yeah. And yeah. it belongs to Jackson Christian no matter what. Right. We would have had to recover it and tried to run with it. We didn't. Smart play. Field goal blocked. At the 4.03 mark, you can see on the power aid clock. clock. Defense. Defense. And I just Defense. kicked my stool over. No. I'm too excited there, Tommy. I'm <laughs> good. And the block, a big block, but that means we are a long way. We are 90, what, three yards away uh, from pay dirt. Yeah, 93, 94. It's, I think it's on the six. It may be on the six. six it's yard 94. Line. Yeah. Jackson Christian with the football. Kelly will receive the football just in front of his goal line. We've got a deuce was a little late getting out there. Mosley by himself, but we're going to run the football. A flag we're, on the play. Oh, me! I hope we're not holding. I hope we're not offsides. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it came out right at the snap, so I don't think we had time to hold. Somebody could have lined up in the neutral zone. And they're going to, well, he pointed at us, but he didn't give a signal. Hold well, on. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's You point at the team. Yeah. Well, that one, I'll have to look it up. So we get, we are back in the shadows of our own goal line. We've got now first and about 13. Now they readjust the stake to first and 12. We've had two penalties. Carrier and Collins to the left of the formation. Mosley, they have a single high safety that will drift towards Mosley. Strength of our formation to the right and left, and we come back right, and we're not going to get much of anything. No, maybe a yard. No. They were in the gaps and got penetration that time. I don't think we got any gain at all out of that. Uh, I mean, guess not. It looks like um, I don't guess we did. Second and 13. And they've got their free safety or their one high safety is Gabriel Lee, their interception leader, and he does a good job. We shift, bring the H back and the tight end. It's a passing play. Max protection. We're going for Mosley, but he's overthrown. And oh, I thought he was held a little bit. He was held, but he still almost made that catch. Almost, yes. And uh, TCA leading a little bit of a charm life 
Uh, that's holding in anybody's book. Right. Two for three for Austin Kelly. It's third and 13, a possession down. You don't want to punt out of your own end zone. No. Uh, and you don't have to get it all. You just you want to get the uh, the first down is what you're looking for. Now see Green going wide to the left along with Trent Carrier, or is this Mo it's Mosley? They've got three over here. Got to hold them for a second longer. They're throwing it up and overthrow. overthrown. And a good coverage. I'm not sure we were all on the same route that right. time. It's a punting situation, and Zach Sisko will come on. It's fourth and 14. They'll send Waller back, who's a very dangerous return man. And I don't see Cisco out there. Uh, I believe we're going to call a timeout, Trinity, I believe. Uh, there is a timeout on the field. And with the timeout, we'll take one of 30 seconds. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. We are back. And you're getting a good shot from camera three of all the things. Uh, Tommy, it's fourth and 13. Right. And we may be going for it because I have not seen Zach Cisco out there. I have not either. Uh, now, I don't know if we're going to try to run no play timeout and get them well, into Aust it. Austin, may do Austin a, can punt a little bit too. Yeah, they may do a little pooch kick if it's uh, – He'll have to get off. He's only going to be able to do one step, and he steps back, so he's punting. There's nobody back, so yeah. if it'll bounce right, we'll get a good roll, and we didn't. No. It went out of bounds. Right. They will take over on our 29-yard line, maybe the 28. Does Zach have any injuries that we know of? Not that I know of. Although we pooch kick first, and he's got a good strong leg. Right. This puts TCA in great field position at the Jackson Christian 28. Single coverage, but it's Mosley and Waller. That's a good. Now, Waller likes the fly or the back shoulder, and he'll run a post. Right. Uh, they go up the middle, and I see Cedric Anderson. Yeah. Watkins is uh, down there. Yeah, you got uh, – Easton's in there, Cedric. Uh, or Walker is in there, not Watkins. We've got a replay going on, and look at that host of guys there. Right. Cedric, Blake Still, Rowland was there. Blake Rowland, that's who it was. And, again, they're going to try Tompkins in the B gap. Right. He'll get a couple of yards, but uh, we close it down fairly fast. Well, again, a generous spot. Yeah, very A very generous spot. Plays being signaled in by both teams. TCA sends two wide outs really towards the sideline. They got the H back to the right side of that formation. They're going to fake it. They're going to throw the post. They've got him, but nope. overthrown. And I'm going to be honest with you, Waller had the inside. He did. Uh, just didn't come up with the catch. That was uh, six for Trinity. That Guarantee you they're going for it on fourth down. Oh, yeah. Be fourth and almost six. It's good play. They ran the fake. We had single coverage. And like I said, Waller likes that post. Now they bring five Zane Atwood out to the right. They're going to have trips. Trent they'll, Carrier coming over here to cover. Yeah, and they'll isolate Waller one-on-one -on -one with someone. 
Didn't get to pick it up. Sprinting right, looking, looking, looking. Wants to run the football He's not now. Gonna get it. And he is not going to get it on fourth down. And the Eagles have held. I was looking for flags. I just didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you. I didn't want to say anything. And we'll try to catch up on some of these. Uh, number 18, Walker. On the, yeah. On the Gavin Walker. Gavin, yeah. The fine junior. He can also play a little tight end. Jimmy Wright is watching. Mo is watching. And Grant is watching. That's Grant Boykin. Fran Griffin Baker. Jill Joyner. Kevin Allen all watching. Julie Braswell says, Go, or yay, Cedric. I'm about to put words in her mouth. Paula <laughs> now, Wesley Freeman. Again, thank you, Wesley. And uh, let me see if we can get this going. The Eagles have it first and 10. Quick toss to Green. And let's go. see if they give him forward progress. Uh, looks like they're going to give him the, the five yards where he caught the ball. <laughs> Although the guy on the far side looks like he's a little more generous than the guy that's <laughs> Going to spot it. Okay, Green catches it. Well, I've got him for five yards. Is that right. what it looks like That's to you? That's what it looks like. Austin back to three out of five passing. Now you let Daniel Green get headed north Ooh. and south, and he can carry the mail. Second and five on the 25 for the Eagles with 54 seconds left. You can see that on the power eight clock. Here comes Vaughn to the left. They're going to give to Deuce Lawrence. And I'm going to tell you what, they've yeah. had Deuce bottled up yeah. so far tonight. And they seem to be getting in our gap, so we'll have to watch for some stunts and stuff right. and see what they're doing. Uh, that, that may be uh, going to give us mark, loss of a yard. Yeah, they may Look do like that. he's fixing to mark off a penalty or something. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to get my – sheet out i don't know uh i don't understand and that is gerald parish and uh, uh like i said i've say i haven't seen some of these signals all year and that was steve phillips handling the football and did a good job handling it well they, they i don't even see the call well they declined, they declined it, whatever it, it is yeah. interesting calls again mm. mosley and green to the left got two wide outs to the right no tight end because Green's on the flank. Kelly, your quarterback, faking to deuce. They throw to Green, and he's, he's going to get cut down a little short. He's you got to right. go past the stakes. Yeah, he's right at it. Uh, we'll go for it. Yeah, I think so. We have a couple of choices. We can run. Uh, oh, they say he got it? No. I yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, the yard markers are moving. Interesting spot. We'll take it, Tom. Oh, no, no doubt. And, of course, UT Chattanooga is going to get the services of Mr. Green next year. Absolutely. It's first and ten for the Eagles. Got an H back to the left. He and the tight end will shift. And Green with his second catch. And off. This deuce. time the deuce is running and falling forward to yeah. about the 38-yard line. Yeah. So it should be a pickup of six. And unless we hustle to the line of scrimmage, and we may not want to, uh, but we are, we've got nine seconds to get a playoff before the end of the quarter. Mosley to the far side. Collins is on the line with a the slot. They try the deuce again. Here the deuce goes. is on the loose. He's gone. He broke one. That one man, Gabe Lee, has a chance to knock him out of bounds. Oh, and he does. And did. Yeah, a good, good tackle, tackle to end the quarter. Yeah, right at the 15-yard line, Gabe Lee on Gabriel that Lee yeah. with the tackle, and I know there's a proud mama down there somewhere. <laughs> You know, Deuce wanted to, to stop and let him run by, but I almost wish he'd have kept running and, and Gabe would have had the horse collar. And you're and absolutely right. Now, I don't see why they're running another play. Time has run out yeah. this quarter. Yeah, We're going to take a 30-second timeout and come back with second quarter action on the Jackson Christian Facebook Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. 
They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. We are back as they take a long walk from the 15 of Trinity all the way down. Tommy, uh, any thoughts about that play? Uh, well, like I said, I, I'd much rather that uh, Deuce would. I, he tried to stop and let the uh, kid go by him, but I'd have much rather him just kept going because the only way that the kid would have tackled him after that would have been a horse collar. So Absolutely. Good to hear from Latoya Boyd that says, Go Newsome. Charlotte Rowe, come on, Eagles. Let's go. Fran Baker again. There you go, Sid. Brenda Connor Nicholas, and we are ready to play first and ten. In motion, Easton Jones on the jet sweep. Yeah, he yeah. makes one man miss. He bulldozes another. He gets tackled from behind, but a nice gain by Easton Jones. Yeah, there, there was no finesse, and Easton was looking for somebody to run over. He he, he wasn't going to juke or get out of the way. He wanted to hit somebody. And we're going to have a replay here. Watch Easton. He's going to lower that shoulder mm -hmm. and go. Gets those extra yards. And a pickup of about eight. Right. Be second and two, a down that you could actually play with right here, Tommy. Right. I, yeah, it, it, I don't know what they're going to run, but uh, I just hope it's successful. And they bring the there extra man this way. Deuce needs one block. Oh, he nope, didn't get it. Didn't. Submarining through looked like Hank Miller, the linebacker. Right. Good play on him. Uh, Probably lost about a half yard. Yeah. That'll bring up third down. And that's the one I thought we might throw it into the end zone. Right. Yeah. yeah it's uh, maybe the wide receiver screen here, uh, or they may do that little fade. Yeah. Third and a short three. Collins to the left. Mosley uh, covered out here, and they've got two men over here. They're going to definitely, and they even lean the safety over on him. Right. We'll go strong side, left side with Green and Trent Carrier. Right. We're going to fake that one, throw it up in there. It's jump ball. Oh, oh me. And they're going to – I know what they're going to call. They're going to say Mosley stumbled on his own. He's hurt. That turf. Uh, what are this you? is grass. But you can hang it. With the way they fell on him and hit him, it's an incomplete pass. And, again, I'm going to say interesting call. I probably have lost some friends by saying that. Uh, it looked like the turf just gave his – he looked like he was trying to st uh, plant and turf just gave away uh, or he just slid. I don't know. Of course, he's had some hamstring problems right. this year. And while we got that, we'll keep – I'll let you keep an eye on it. Larry Craig says, hey, Coach Joe, Latoya Boyd again with some – and there is some concern on the sideline. Sandra Stewart Cannon, uh, Coach Wheeler's parents, so watching from Lebanon, Georgia. Go Eagles. Wow. And hopefully I didn't leave uh, Jaden McKinley I have, and Sister McLean both with uh, messages. They're still attending to Jalen Mosley. And uh, Jaden McKinley says, this signals for an illegal shift. You're right about one of them, the other one, illegal motion. And uh, thank you for helping out. I don't have my chart, and I don't see that one very often. He's walking, but yeah. gingerly. Yeah, he, he, I, they'll get that taped up, and I think he'll be all right. Now, this is within Zach Cisco range. Yeah. And I believe Zach is on. Yeah, there he is. The ball is, what, on the seven-yard line. It'll be plunked down about the 14, making it a 24-yard field goal attempt. Takes 1.3 seconds to get this happen. And, again, thank you, uh, Jaden McKinley, for the help on that one. I usually have a referee's chart of their signals in front of me, and you just don't see the shift in the motion often enough, and I haven't coached in a while. Kelly to hold, and we can run a fake, but we're not going to. We're kicking it. Snap was tough uh, to handle a little bit, but and good. he held it, and you are right. 24-yard field goal, and Jackson Christian is up. 10 to nothing. Let's take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Facebook. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. 
from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Taxon Christian has taken a 10-0 lead here in the second quarter. Tommy McLean, Coach Joe Holloway here with you. And uh, if I have left anybody out, Sally Reichard watching. Uh, Scott Gatlin is watching. And Brenda Connor Nicholas. We appreciate all of you, and I apologize because my Internet is going in and out a little bit. Boy, it's loud, Tommy. It is. And Zach Sisko will kick off. Waller will be the deepest. And let's see if we've got a directional or a pooch kick coming up here. Uh, he's got it set up. Uh, it's not going to be the onside kick. That's the one thing you can rule out. Up high, and it is going to go to Waller. Waller. It wasn't supposed to, but he came over and poached a little bit. He's a great runner. Breaks yeah. a tackle. Yeah. Breaks another tackle, and he's going to. Uh-oh. Oh, there's got to. If they don't uh, call that. Tompkins just pushed the man from in the back. Yeah, right that's a block in the back, and the official, I'm afraid it's my buddy. He missed one bad, and I will remind him of that to no end when I talk to him on the phone. Right. Yeah, and that was uh, – and, and he didn't have to do it. I don't – it wasn't even involved in the play, but it was definitely there right in front of the uh, Eagle bench. And I've made note of that, too. Hey, and Waller's off, and Waller's off. He's going in motion. And let's see what we got. Slot yep. Yep. to this side, and you're going to send a man in motion from the outside. They're not running the option on that. Tompkins, yeah. again, on first down time, he's been getting good yardage. Yeah, he, he's averaging two, three yards every, every carry. and uh, He looks like he's going to get about four on this one right. if the spot – well, and Cedric was one of the men on it, and didn't get out catch the other one, and that was a generous spot. As a as a left footed spot there. Yep. Because it actually should be about where the quarterback stand, or right behind the center. You're right. It's second and six. They'll send in motion Jones, but again they're going to try the middle, and he's getting a good push yeah. and a little bit of what they call the tush push, and he's probably got a first down. Yeah. I look for them to outlaw that next year, though. Well, to me, that's aiding the runner, and one of the points of emphasis is you're supposed to be helping the runner. Right, right, yeah. It, now, in the pros, the, it may take them two years to yeah. do that. Well, it's a, it looks like a rugby play when they do it in the pros. It really does. First and 10 from TCA 49, wide side of the field to the left. They'll send the man in motion, jet sweep. They fake it and go straight up the middle Tompkins. again with Tompkins. And he's getting a good push, and so are is their line. Yeah, yeah, they're they're moving the ball. We're going to have to step up. and they're, We're going to have a replay on this one. They got about four that time. Right. Tompkins, Lakai Tompkins. A very good running back. Got people looking at him at a lot of different schools. Has 59 yards on 14 carries. Right. But all you have to do is the old Woody Hayes three yard and cloud of dust. Jones was in motion, but it was a give all the way, and they blew us out on the right side of the line. Yeah. Uh, and I'm I'm kind of disappointed that he runs too straight up for me. He. Uh, well, we're not getting any penetration. Right. But but we need to take his legs out from under him. Uh, because he's not, he's running straight up. Yeah. Third and a short one, and the officials are lot, letting a lot of back blocking and some stuff going on. Yeah. And uh, very interesting. This would be a good one for Richard McWhorter to review so far. Right. Here comes the jet sweep. He cuts it up. He had the first he down. Went it. backwards, and now he's going to lean yeah, forward and get it. he's going to get it, yeah. We had Waller for a minute and did not lock up on him. He'll get the first down for him. Yeah, number 20 on the tackle uh, for Jackson Christian. But I believe he's got it. Oh, he's oh, got yeah, it. Yeah, it's, not, it's almost touching the line, and. Yeah, he should. They shouldn't even. They're gonna call for the chains. That's just giving him a chance to breathe. Yep. That's Eli Smith that made the tackle. Yeah. We had held him in the backfield. He actually dipped a little bit. We had him and did not lock up. Right. 
and it could have been fourth down and about two. Yeah, they'd have went for it anyway, but I uh, oh, hear they will. Yeah. They'll even if it's fourth, and I think they've got it. We've got a replay going on, but uh, we'll come back with the camera on that uh, spot and the measurement. Yeah. It should have, he got a generous spot because the knees went down and they gave him uh, where he put the football out. Okay. Another interesting call. Jackson Christian fans should know what I mean when I say that too. Hal Waldrop, uh, let's go Eagles. Cindy White, Vincent, go Eagles. Eugene Newsom, let's go Deuce from Houston, Texas. And Donna Skelly Carden, Donna used to go a long time ago, I believe, to Northside. If that's the same one. Stephen Rich, still waiting my on. My buddy, Stephen, he, he's already yeah. texted me. Yeah, he's over yeah. here still waiting on my two-time timing. First and ten <laughs> for the Lions. And, again, oh, like I, I, said, I he fumbled it but got back on Bounced it right after back. a gain of about five, maybe six. Yeah. Let's see if they gave him one of those generous spots again. Yeah, it bounced right back into his hands. Now, this time they are close to right. Right. Yeah, well, me and Steve used to do the uh, South Gibson games. Absolutely, you sure did. Big Daddy Steve Rick. Jeff Page, Jackson Christian graduate, listening in Lebanon. A little tighter formation this time. They're going straight ahead. They're going to yeah. run Lakai Thompson a whole lot, and he's going to get close to the 30. Right. And depending on the spot, it's hard to call out the tacklers because it's taken yeah. so many to get him. Uh, yep, and he's getting good push. Oh, yeah. It's going to be third and short, bring up third and, one. and it's really less than one, folks. Seventy-eight yards on 18 carries, 626. At the rate he's going here, there's a man in motion. They could run oh. the option. He fell down on that one. That was and if they spot it correctly, Tommy, he will have lost yardage. Yeah, he did. And that was a uh, tackle made by Cooper Bales. Yes. He stepped on his foot or he tripped him. Uh, now it brings up fourth and one. They're not punting. No. And anybody in this stadium that thinks they're punting, uh, come and see me and we'll. Sell you some beach property in yeah, Arizona. In Arizona, I want to say you. Yeah. It's definitely a pivotal play. If uh, We have got to really get some penetration in those yeah. gaps. Uh, Tompkins has got yeah, it. He, 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 he got had it. a hole he could drive a Mack truck through then. Well, they say he's 6'1". I'm not thinking. I'm thinking maybe a little taller than that. But. He plays basketball for Dexter and is a pretty good basketball yeah. player too. And the... Seventh first down for TCA. You know, if he just gets up to the line and falls forward, he, he's got three yards. Yep. 5-28, we had to play against a guy named Thompson that wound up at Ole Miss back in the 60s, and he would actually stumble for five yards. This young right. man runs for five yards when he goes when he goes for good body lean. And they fake coming with the option. Oh, he's got good it. change of yeah. pace. We had him, yeah. and we hesitated. Yeah. Host of people. Easton's there. I saw Walker there. Yeah, Gavin Walker. Uh, Eli, Eli Smith is there. Yeah, Eli Craig but he, also. He still got about two or three yards. We'll see where they plunk it down. I say two. Right. Yeah, he, he, he hesitated. If we'd have kept coming, we'd have had a chance at no gain. Second and eight from the 25-yard line. Just short of the 25. Got an H back, could be called a wing. I look for them to throw that pass. So we're, nope, I'm gonna run They're it again. Gonna run him again, and he's again got good yardage. Yeah, tackled by Easton Jones right there. But he gained about six, five or six on that. Five yard pickup. He's got 89 yards in 21 carries. And that's the game plan. See, that keeps us from having the football, too. Right. And if they can punch one in, uh, unless they break one in this 
set up. It's on the 21. It's third and three from the 21, wide side of the field to the right. Right. Man coverage with a two high safety situation this time. They give again. Yeah. And Bales is read. He read that one yeah. in, uh, because he was ready to find his pitch man. But we are giving them. We've got to make an adjustment at halftime. He picks up two of the three needed yards. I, I, that's generous, too. I didn't think he got but a yard because uh, they met him and they just let him. I don't know. I didn't think he got that much on that. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to try to be professional, but uh, listen to the Saturday Sports Roundup tomorrow. <laughs> Trips left into the short side of the field. Bales and Tompkins in the backfield. And that's a huge... Time offensive out. line, it looks like a timeout. Let's see. Jackson Christian. Jackson Christian has called timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout and be back. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. We are back coming out of a timeout by Jackson Christian School. It is fourth and one, and it's not a true one. It's a little shorter than one. Right. I can tell you the one thing they're not doing is kicking a field goal right here. They're <laughs> going for it. And, you know, everybody in the ballpark is expecting like high Tompkins to get it, and he may well. There's trips left. We need to get into those gaps. And they didn't pull it. He broke a tackle, yeah. and he's got the first down. And wanting to go more, Kai Wyatt did not let go. It looked like he was bulldogging, which you can do. That's a legal way to tackle somebody. Right. But the eighth first down. Yeah, Kai Wyatt, uh, Trent Carrier in on that. Uh, you know, you're talking about the size uh, Trinity's line, that number 78, he's like 290. Yeah, they're, they are huge. And yeah. we are a small team. Uh 23 carries already in the first half. I've only got 95 yards, but there's 256 with a first and 10. Ball on the 16. Vales, he's got a man in motion. They're going to run the option. You have to burp the pitch man, and now there you, you go. Take. That's the way you play the there option. There we go. That's what you do. One makes the quarterback pitch, then somebody's got to come quick. You rotate your secondary in case they try to throw off that. Jones with the carry. They give him, a, we'll give him two. two. It's generous on my part, but it is closer to two. 217, second and eight. Slot left. Actually, two receiver. They'll send the man in motion. They're going to give. No, yep. they pulled. Yeah, the they pulled, and we've got it again. Again. That's the Waller. Doing a good job on that option. Easton Jones again in on that play. Waller will get a couple of yards uh, out of it. I believe that's Blake Rowland, number eight, in there. Yeah. Uh, so we're playing that option pretty good. We're just having trouble with that straight at us run. Third and a short six. Find Waller. He's going to be single covered. We send a safety over that way. Yeah. And Jalen is not back here. It's drop back there, pass. That's, that's in well, they don't have intentional grounding anymore. But that would be intentional grounding. Interesting. We're gonna get a replay on that one. Yeah. He was in he was within the tackles, no nobody in the general area, and he did not get it back to the line of screen. I know they're going to attempt the field goal. This young man is very capable that's coming out to kick it. Why do I not believe it, Tommy? Well, you know, you're talking about their game well, plan. Well, it, it's still within his range. Uh, you, you know, you're talking yeah. about your game plan. They get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, David Willard from the left hash mark. 
19-yard line, 10. That one, they got it up and good, and TCA gets on the board with 119, a 29-yard field goal. Yeah, the one thing they made them messed up and left too much time on the clock. If we can get to, you know, we did not look good that right. last well, series. Right, well, we did not. Uh, but, you, you know, watching Jackson Christian, they can score fast and it uh, doesn't matter where on the field. Yeah, we're going to keep it here this time. Normally we take a break, but, Tommy, we also have to discuss there's nothing for TCA to lose by trying to onside kick here. Exactly. And uh, I see Coach, Coach is calling them back in. And, of course, a lot of people, if you, you notice, Coach Bowling doesn't wear a headset. He, right. uh, he's old school and a good coach, but a lot of the coaches from the past – didn't and he's still a young man. I mean, he's not right. as old as I'm making him sound, but uh, uh, of course, the offensive and defensive coordinators have the headsets on. Right. Let's see if we can tell anything by the way that the kicker sets up the football. Delk has been handling those kickoff, and I do not see well. Jalen back there. Who's that in the middle this time? Is that Easton in the middle? Uh, I cannot see. I think it is. We'll check it out and see. Delk to kick off. Front line's got to stay awake. He does kick it, but it's on the ground bouncing. Easton Jones will go and pick it up at about the 19. Comes forward, breaks through the first wave, but one man. And they do a good job, and that's Gabe Lee again, the yeah. same man that made the tackle and saved the touchdown a while ago. Well, they did an excellent job because they – they did not let Easton get a chance to get a head of steam. Full head of steam. Because I'm going to tell you what, when he sees an open field and he takes off, I don't know if there's anybody any faster on the field than him. Absolutely. Jim Roberts, Coach, we need some of that yellow bird of Bama on some of those calls. Well, <laughs> you may before Brett Butler's got the clapping hands. David Ross is listening. Larry Craig says go Eagles. Here's Kelly sprinting to his left. Wants to crank up the javelin. The pass is hit. Is it intercepted? No, it no. hits the ground. Incomplete. Dangerous once it gets tipped like that. Incomplete. Brings up second and ten with a minute seven to go. Jill Joyner, interesting. I agree, Jill. There's been many interesting calls, and I'm afraid a guy that I call a friend missed one really badly when Tompkins hit uh, our man in the back blocking. Uh, Jalen is still not out there. Um, and they may take him into halftime and take a look at him. Right. Let's see who they've got. Looks like Jack Collins coming to this side. And they're definitely, they should say something to this band about playing while we're in. Yeah. The inside handoff, and they played it well. We ran it well, though, even though we didn't get many yards out of it. A minute four and counting. Let's see if there's a timeout called. And the clock is arrested at 101. Jackson Christian has called a timeout. We'll take a 30 second timeout. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. We are back and other than Deuce's one long run, Tommy, DCA has effectively shut Jackson Christian's running game down. Right. Third and six, and I agree with you, the drums now they blow the whistle? I don't know. But, yeah, they're, they're not supposed to be doing that. No, well, not during the snap count yeah. and things like that. So like I said, some very interesting stuff going on. Looks like, is that Blake Rowland or Easton out here? Because the number is uh, uh, crumbling. I believe that's Blake right there. Blake will find wide out, and he can catch that short. Now, he's going to go long, but Kelly has to go left. Hasn't oh, he's got, got him. him. He's, he's got, got him. him. And now it's just a foot race. 
10, 4, 3, oh, 2, yeah. 1, touchdown. And, Tommy, I cannot see the number. Yeah, I think That's it's Easton. Easton. Yeah. Easton I'm, Jones I'm telling you just there. goes 41 yards. And we've got a replay of that. Yeah, he, he – uh, and I'm hats off to Austin. He saw him over there. I don't know if the play was designed to go to him, but he saw him wide open and he hit him. And and like I said, once Easton gets a head of steam, you're not catching him. No, he is quicker than a hiccup. Zach Cisco on with the Kelly hole. The snap, the kick, it looks good. The officials say it is good. Uh, and Jackson Christian with 49.5 seconds has taken a 17-3 to lead. Let's take a 30-second timeout. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And Tommy, let me correct myself. That was 61 yards. 61, good guess. 61 yards. Easton Jones shot out of a cannon. Tommy told you earlier that if he gets up ahead of steam, kiss him goodbye. This one, interesting directional kick. It'll probably go out of bounds. No, it stays. Oh, it did go, out, go of out of bounds. I yeah. thought it was about Ooh. to stay. Now, they can have us re-kick it again, right. or they can take it on the 35-yard line. Right. It was a brilliant idea if that thing stays in bounds. Oh, man. But you know that if a frog had a hip pocket, he'd tote a gun, carry credit cards, and have money. That's right. They're going to make us kick it again. Let's see what the strategy will be this time. I see Lakai Tompkins right in the middle, so if you try to kick a hard bouncer into the middle, right. he is going to set up at about the 28-yard line. And they're all going to come up now another five yards or so. I'd kick it right here at this number 20. Their 20-yard line, that's where I'd aim for. And uh, the drone is way too low. Does not need to be down there. It's out of bounds now. But, uh, right. They're going to kick to the same young man. He'll get right. it at about the 26. He'll bring it up. Breaks outside. We've lost contain, though. And he is going to get good yardage. And uh, we did not stay in our lanes that time. Yeah. Mason Vaughn drove him out of bounds. And that leaves him 41 seconds, almost 42 if you'll look. And that's time to crank up the javelin. I wouldn't be surprised if they took either a post or try to throw a back shoulder to Waller. Right. Let's see if he's in there. Yes, he is. Going to the wide side. We'll send a safety, Mason Vaughn, over that way. And uh, they send a man in motion. They pull the guards, Thompson. And this time no, didn't get we got in behind those guards. And I see Big Cedric with the first contact. Kai had some. And then is that – that is Caleb Newsom. Right. And well defense that time. That's about – yeah. No, man, they did it again. Oh. He got one yard, and they're giving him three. Interesting spot again. And there's a timeout on the field with 32 seconds. Let's take a timeout here on Jackson Christian Facebook. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Yeah, 
We are back. You're getting a great shot from camera two. See Blake Rowland, who uh, fun fact about him is he looks like Ken with his blonde hair, he says. <laughs> and uh, we've got some other things we'll tell you about. It is second and eight on a very generous spot. TCA in Eagle territory. Bale drops straight back, cranks the javelin up. That's ours. And oh, Wheat almost Ooh. had it. They tipped it, and it almost went into Delk's hand. Yep. But again, almost <laughs> only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and atomic bombs. Yeah, the defensive backs, you got. if you're not going to catch it, knock it down. Do not bounce it up in the air. Yes, yes, yes. We uh, So the pass is incomplete. Brings up third and eight. 25.6 seconds. Play being signaled in. You have two coaches that signal them. One of them is the obvious. If you can see that, now you got a good line shot right there. So we won't knock that. That gets a very good look at all of our players. Thought Trent Carrier had one then. Yeah. Actually, their man's the one that tipped it, and it went off of Trent's hand. And they're going to give to Tompkins. That's safer, and they're going to get good yardage out of it. Yeah. But it'll bring up fourth down. Well, I don't know. It may be a first down with some of those spots. Yeah, the left-footed spot is an well, interesting spot, but this one's going to be fourth yeah, down. Yeah, that's pretty true there. He has carried the ball now 25 times. Timeout. And they're going to call a timeout. We're going to take a timeout, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional VA. And we are back. Fourth and a short three, long two. Sprinting right is Vales. Looking, looking. He's got men deep. He throws it up in the air. It's a jump ball situation. It's we intercepted it. up the sideline. Does running. he have room? Time has run out, but you can still play till they tackle him, and we need to find out who got that interception. Uh, I got blocked off and yeah. didn't get to see it. Maybe we got a replay of it, and we can catch who got that one. Of course, Greg Armour will be coming in later at halftime for you. stats. Greg will tell you. Uh, but, it may uh, have been Mason Vaughn. It may have been Mason, and uh, I was checking to see if we did have a replay. And... Uh, I am not sure that we do, and we do not. So I guess we will take a timeout, and when we come back, second half, second half stats. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. 
Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing, so you pay what we pay. Plus, over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at carlocknissanofjackson.com. You should already be here. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I will be the greatest, greatest. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. 
Shop Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at Humboldt Dodge Chrysler Jeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. And we're back at uh, Lions Field here on the campus of Trinity Christian Academy for a Thursday night game. And at the half, the Eagles are leading 17-3 to in a big game, which decides who the division winner uh, will be. Of course, both teams have made the playoffs, and it's just a matter of uh, who gets the first week by and uh, who gets the seat. And we've got West Tennessee's greatest statistician here, Mr. Greg Armour, and he's going to run over the uh, – Summary for both teams. So, Greg. All right. Thank you, thank you Tommy. Uh, for Jackson Christian, in the first half, we had three first downs in the passing department. Austin Kelly attempted nine, completing five for 129 yards. Jay Mosley had three catches for 62 and a touchdown. Easton Jones had one catch for 61 and a touchdown. Daniel Green had one catch for six yards. In the rushing department, we rushed nine times for 97 yards. Douche Lawrence had six for 66. Jalen had one for 19. Easton Jones had one for eight. And Trent Carrier had one for four. We punted once for 25 yards. We had three penalties for 23 yards. And seven points in the first quarter, ten points in the second quarter. Two touchdowns and a field goal. Field goal was 24 yards by Zach Sisko. All right, for TCA. They had eight first downs in the passing department. They attempted seven passes, completing two for nine yards. Waller had one for three, and number six had one for six. And Waller also had one interception. In the rushing department, they rushed 31 times for 86 yards. Uh, Tompkins had 26 carries for 84 yards. Vales had one for a negative two. Number zero had two for two, and Waller had two for two. They did not punt. They had no penalties and they scored uh, no points in the first quarter and a field goal in the second quarter. It was a 29-yard field goal by by number 10, uh, Daniel Willard. So that's a recap of the stats for the first quarter. They had zero penalties. Zero penalties. This sounds kind of like last Saturday. <laughs> uh, well, nothing to take away from either of these teams. Both of them are out there fighting hard. And, of course, their game plans to keep, the, keep our, their offense on the field and keep our offense off the field. And uh, we've done a real good job with the option. Uh, we've shut it down pretty good. Uh, we just got to get that, uh, that uh, number one right up the middle at us. We just find a way That's to stop him and, uh, you know, be a much better game. Yeah, he's been running right up the middle, and like you said, and we've also kind of shut the passing game down. You know, right. Vales has only had uh, two completions right. and one interception. Any news on Jalen? Uh, I have not heard anything. You know, I saw him slip on that uh, one pass play over here in the corner, and I, I didn't know if he it was an ankle or a knee or, or a hamstring or what have, it was. I have not heard and don't know. Good to see Kai back out on the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. That's a tough little man right there. Yeah. Um, but we've got plenty of weapons out other than Jalen, and uh, people don't realize that. It's like like I was telling Joe, uh, Easton Jones, I, I'd like to have the ball in his hand every time because if he gets an open field, good luck. Yep, he, when he's got some speed and everything. But uh, like I said, we appreciate Mr. Armour. He does a great job keeping these stats. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can add and pad those stats the second half. Uh, That's right. Like I said, the winner of this game wins the re or wins our region and gets a first round by. Gets a first round by. The, the both teams are in the playoffs. It's just a matter of where we're at. Yeah. So, uh, 
you know, of course, uh, Jackson Christian wins. Uh, we get a first week by, and then I think we host from their own up until the quarterfinals. So, uh, you know, it's a lot to play for. And uh, But anyway, we're going to take another break and uh, get back and have the, uh, hopefully Coach Joe will be back in the in the booth. And uh, But we'll, this is Glory, Ro- uh, Glory Roads production, and thank you all. We'll be right back. The best thing to order is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. But you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing so you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. Psst, buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, (laughs) no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, (laughs) no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. 
buddy. I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Back at Trinity, where the Jackson Christian Eagles hold a precarious 17-3 lead. I know that you got some official stats from Greg Armour, and uh, that he agreed with what we suspected. No Mason. penalties on TCA, no and penalty. Mason Vaughn with the interception. Exactly. And uh, we have to kick off, and for the folks, we didn't get um, – the timing right on our pregame show. We didn't get to talk about that. The winner of this game gets a bye and uh, gets to host to the semifinals right. and maybe even in the semifinals. Order. The second place team will play next week. But they will host. And they will host. And then you, it depends on what happens. Uh, well, they'll have to go on the road to probably Columbia Academy. Looks like they're going to be the number one team in middle. So uh, that's what happens in the top half of the bracket. The bottom half, the west bye is – what we are playing right. for tonight. Do not know the status of Jalen Mosley. It only took me 10 minutes to get to the restroom and try to do some checking and get back. It was a, a long line, and a, it's a long way away and, from and here. And I want to apologize. I inadvertently called this your production Glory Roads, and I know it's Worthy Roads. It's Worthy Roads. Right. Okay. Y'all do a great job, and I appreciate y'all letting me fill in tonight. Oh, hey, you're doing good, and we're happy. Let's see what Zach Cisco. we've kicked it differently just about each time. Now, we did, after that penalty, kick it to the same young man for right. TCA. Looks like Waller at about the nine right now. Right. Tommy, this is one of those where I'd love to see Zach get his foot into it and put it out the back of the end zone. Exactly. Nick Jones back also. It looks like they're even scooting up a little bit more, so they're not anticipating him kicking it deep. He's not. No, nope, another pitch kick. Now, this young man had a good return the last time, and he's quicker than a hiccup. That's at Atwood. And he's going to get another one. Owen Atwood, the sophomore, and he gives great field position to yeah. the Trinity Christian Academy Lions. It will bring Vales out, Waller, Lakai Tompkins. Look like Delk market. will probably be there. 48-yard line. Yeah, so they're only 52 yards away from pay dirt. Carrier, I see Craig, Eli Craig coming out this way. Blake Rowland, do not see Jalen, so that means Mason Vaughn's in the secondary. Jack Collins also, three down linemen. Kai White, the middle linebacker. They'll go to Tompkins on this first play. Yeah. That's and he's got a hole you can drive yeah. a Mack truck through. That's good for seven or eight, depending on the spot. Absolutely. Not the way you want to start the second half. No. Uh, They're saying it's eight. Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to have to find a way to shore up that middle. Yeah, that's his 22nd carry. Right. And this time trying again and again. Yeah. We're yeah. going to give up a first down. Right. All but one of their first downs is by the run. So he should have be right at knocking at 100. He should yeah, have he, about 95 probably, yards now. He's probably maybe a yard short on the official stats. I yeah. had him right at 100 to end the half. Yeah. Early in the third quarter with the Eagles leading 17 to three. Walker, Newsom, and Anderson, you're down three linemen and they're gonna go at the left guard spot. And they seem to wow. be hitting left a lot right now. Yeah. And at the end of the half, he'll get about five again. Or six, five or six. Well, it'll on. depend on the spot. And uh, it's been an interesting call to Right Kane. at five. Yeah, right at five. Ruth Ann Neal Smith says go Eagles. 
Charlotte Rowe, come on, Eagles, play your game. Zach Simpson checking in. Reminds him of the Goldsmith time when Goldsmith playing them. Jennifer Tucker curling, go Eagles. Holly Link will try to get some more, a little bit behind on them. Again, they try Tompkins, and they were giving all the way, and he's yeah, going to get he's close. Got, he's Matter guy. of fact, he's got the first down now with the push. Now, 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 see, I, this is the tush push. I did not think this was allowed in high school. I knew it was. Well, uh, they shouldn't put aiding the runner. is Because uh, that's all you're doing is you're getting behind the runner and pushing him, and, and I did not think it was allowed in high school. But I uh, didn't either. They marked it back where – he first Still a first down, and I have that as 10 for them. Right. Now, I did not get to hear the official stats because, like I said, I went on a hike or cross-country meet. And, again, good yardage getting across the 20. So it should be about second and six, maybe second six and a half. Thirty carries for Tompkins. Thirty. He's gonna be a tired young man tomorrow. Doubt goes to the right. Waller is probably over there. I haven't found him yet, but they're gonna give again. He bends it, and he's right. got room. Yeah. And it's gonna be another first down. Yeah. That's the first. I think the first time I've seen him run to the right. Well, he had a couple of plays early, and yeah. we stopped them. This one, he started left towards that A-gap, and right. Bennett, we caved in and didn't get there, and it is first and goal again for the Lions. They're on the six-yard line. See what the Eagles can come up with right here. They send a man in motion, Nothing and different. here's Tompkins. They stopped He's, him pretty good. He David. got one unless the push gets him a second one, and right. if he gets two out of this, then uh, there needs to be a House Un-American Committee investigation. And he almost got the two. Yeah. Very interesting. You might want to call the Saturday sports roundup from between 9 and 11, especially in that first hour tomorrow. Two wide outs to each side. They're trying to spread us out. They go to Tompkins. Tompkins oh, hits it got now. There. Yeah. A host of Eagles. Yeah. I don't know who got in there first, but uh, it looked like Walker may have been one of them. Gavin Walker was there. And Cedric had to be plugging the middle up Cedric somewhere. Cedric Anderson in there. and uh, Kai Wyatt, all of them all met him right there at the, at the scrimmage line. Now you still got to tackle Tompkins, but watch Favales pulling the football. Right. And they run the option off of that. And a lot of signals going on. Vale signaling back to his offensive coaches. And it's definitely not the same play unless he reads the give. Nope. They're going to throw, and they got Waller in the back of the end zone. No good. And it's no good. It's incomplete. They had him. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Mason Vaughn over on coverage. You know, Mason was hurt for a little while, but, you know, early in yeah, the year he five was. Five games or six yeah, games, yeah. But early in the season, you know, he was our interception leader. Yeah. And he last year he was one of the leaders. I think Jack wound up with. It is fourth and four. Does Tompkins get it? Do they run the jet sweep? Or do they go to Waller again? It's not going to be the jet sweep. No. It's sprinting. To his left, uh, throwing. He's got somebody in the back of the end zone. There was a flag, I thought. And a touchdown. Maybe not. I thought I saw a flag, but I guess not. And in the third quarter, at the 7.56 mark, pass to Jones. Four yards. On to attempt the extra point is David Willard, a fine young kicker. It's up. It looks good. The goal post disappeared. It is good. And it is Jackson Christian 17 and T uh, TCA 10. Let's take a timeout of 30 seconds on the Jackson Christian Network. is when you are sitting at soccer practice, order it through your phone while you're sitting there, and then you go and pick it up. 
but you're much more of a planner than me. I am. And that's what I love about you. Yes. You know, I'm not that prepared. It's more seat in my pants. Downtown is thriving and the blacksmith restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. And as we come back, the very thing I was telling you to watch for, and TCA recovers the onside kick. That looked like Tanner Webb, a freshman, that got on it. Jackson Christian reeling, Tommy. Yeah. We look right now, no offense, we look like Tennessee. Uh, yeah, it, you know, they should have been expecting that. Um, but we did not have a hands team up there, and uh, ball hit, just drilled number 25, and he just, uh, you know, caught him off guard. Yeah, Lotus Omar said, let's go Eagles. Jeremy Edwards can't tackle up high, get low. Yep. And uh, we're not even getting penetration. Tompkins with 30 carries is kind of cow tromping us now. He's coming again. We're... I see holding, and they didn't yeah, call it. They're not. You're not going to. They're not going to. This officiating crew is not going to call it, are they? No. Uh, like I said, there, it, it it is almost impossible in modern day for to play a full game and not have any penalties at all. It, uh, we have seen the impossible. Susan Holloway is watching. Audrey Campbell, way to go, Easton. Charlotte Rowe, Lotus Oman again, and uh, and they need more than retraining, Lotus. You're right. Second and seven. Three yards for Tompkins. And they give it to him again. again. Caleb's got good. a piece of him, Cedric, yeah. but he's still got at least two. Yeah, that's a good play on, on uh, Jackson Christian's Here comes part. comes a replay. Third and about five and a half. They've got third and four. There's no way on the scoreboard that's third and four. No, it's third and five at least. Yeah. The quick toss inside to Jones, and he's caught his second pass yeah. for a first down. It's a good play on Nick. Um, TCA moving the football, and right now Jackson Christian does not have an answer for him, and we look a little tired afoot. They go back to Tompkins. He yeah, breaks a tackle and tackle. gets a good pass, or good uh, run. Yeah, big Cedric on the tackle there. Second and six. He has 35 carries now. And if you remember a couple of years ago, Blake Butler beat us with uh, a former Jackson Christian student running it close to 30 times. Right. Here we go again, trying that left side. We've got people in there. Eli's pushing back. Cedric's pushing back. Yeah. Gavin Gavin got there. Gavin got there. Couldn't hold him, could but he? Yeah, he just, he just he tried. You got to, you got to, he go a little lower. Go right at the knees. I'm sorry. It sounds bad, but that's what you got to do. Well, you got to get down there where you can lock up and get that. Uh, wrist around and uh, grab your other wrist. Right. Is there a penalty? If it is, I may pass out. Wait a minute. Oh, oh me. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Miracle of miracles. The first penalty of the night. Mark this down. Yep. Anyway, uh, move the ball back, so... Second and 12, or short 12, long 11. I thought you had to leave the field when you had uh, equipment adjustments and stuff like that. Well, you're supposed to. Going to throw the pass, and they got Jones again. And we went to sleep. And they've got another first down, they being TCA. Yeah. Yeah. 
and knocking at the door. And now uh, I had a coach, Charles Todd, in baseball. You say you got to bow your back. I know Philip Lewis probably is watching, and uh, we got to bow our back because we are up against it right now. Right. Murphy's Law is working and the wrong way. Walker comes down the line, but he Tompkins a handful spins for positive yardage. Well, you know, Walker on that time, he sl actually gave him an extra yard by the way he slung him. Yeah. He, you know. Four yard pickup. Thirty-seven carries. Second and six, wide side of the field to the right. Here comes that option. Yep, they're going to pitch to and we Tompkins. Played it. And well, we dove instead of staying braced. Yeah. And he may have. He has made it. They, uh, TCA has owned the third quarter. Yeah, you got to remember the, uh, the young kicker did miss a field goal earlier that was about the same distance. 17-16, so. this young man, though, is good. Yeah. That one is just inside the crossbar, and we have a tie score. We'll be back after this timeout. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. We are back here with a tie score. TCA has owned the second half. And, Tommy, we've got to get something going. First of all, we can't go to sleep. Yeah. That's two onside kicks this year we've been hurt with. Yeah, yeah, both of them we should have fielded. And, uh, but uh, Delk approaches the football. And he kicks another liner. Let it go. Let there it go, go out of bounds. There's the flag. I will. We'll see if these drums start pounding again when we have the ball. You know, somebody, I don't know who we need to contact, but that's, uh, you know, in Middle Tennessee, they had a game forfeited because the team yeah. refused to quit, quit playing music while the other team had the ball. Somebody may have said something at halftime because, well, in the first half, they would have kept playing their drums right into the snap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was like this. Definitely some violation. Uh. Defense. 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 Blake rolling wide. He's single covered here. They're going to go back to a one high safety and single coverage everywhere. We send a man in motion. They bring one to the line. Here's Deuce Lawrence, and they have got Deuce. He broke a tackle. That's all individual effort. We got in his way, and we have fumbled, and they have recovered, and that was Owen Atwood again. So a short pickup, but the pickup is irrelevant. We have coughed the football up and given TCA a chance to take the lead. And like I said, they have owned the third quarter. Fumble recovery by Atwood for TCA. And Mark and Jan Beckham watching from Chattanooga. Rachel Sykes, Slater McLean, Charlotte Rowe. Got to have some defense now. Yes, sir. They'll go to Tompkins probably on the first play, and it is. He's going to try the A side, bounces outside, cuts back into the C gap, and he'll get about five yards. Yeah. Gavin has got to put that shoulder pad on that thigh. Actually, he gets six on that one. That's one of those uh, funny spots. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. 
Anyway, it has been interesting so far. A tale of two halves. We've we've not run an offensive play, but we've won what one or two. That's all we've run now. Did it take too long? No. The whistles blow. Uh, I think we've only run one play. This the one that we fumbled on to yeah. Deuce. Back up TCA five yards. False false start. It is second and nine. Ball on the Jackson Christian 39, wide side of the field to the right. And again, they give to Tompkins. Yeah. He's hit this time. He should be, should Walker be. Walker no was yard. there first. No gain, should be. But Goff there. Should not be one inch of gain. But they're going to give him a yard. <laughs> interesting. Mm. That's all I can say, interesting. Yeah, that, that was no gain on that at all. 40 carries. But we have been our own worst enemy. We've uh, yeah. co coughed up an onside kick. We have coughed up a fumble. Back-to-back -back errors. Run one play in the third quarter, and there's only 3.21 left. Here's a pass out to Tompkins. Yeah, and they good. run him out of bounds. It should be fourth down and about uh, – Six yards, I think. They'll go for it. Oh, they're giving him. Oh, no. There is no way. Uh, mm. Very interesting. That ball should have been back here on the 35. They uh trying to be professional, but uh, there are some people making it very hard. They, they could run the football. They could run the option. They could go to for no play timeout. A lot of choices here. Jackson Christian got to get in the gap. Going to be the quick look in pass. And they've got Jones again. We gave him too much cushion. You know. And another first down for TCA. Too much cushion. Yeah, well, there's nobody coming up. I don't know if there was a man supposed to be picking him up or or what, but that's the second time he's done that. Yep. Now, I don't know if our cornerbacks are crashing in for run support and letting him go, but you, you're going to have to come. Well, you man. almost have to come up and play him on press coverage. Right. Now we've got the three men over here. They're going to run the football. There's Tompkins. And we must keep them out of the end zone or hold them to a field goal. Right. Here comes a replay. We get a little penetration, but not enough. And he's still getting positive yards out of these plays. Yeah. 41 carries after about a four and a half yard gain. Brings up second and six. Ball's on the 12-yard line, wide side of the field to the right. Not only is Tompkins a good runner, but the TCA line has actually owned us to some degree. Yeah, they Here's the motion. They fake it. They mm -hmm. give. This time we would defense it well. We close in. Yeah. And uh, Walker, Gavin Walker there first. Actually looked, lost a yard. Yeah, it looked like uh, Caleb was. But I, I, I hold my breath until they mark it. I, didn't lose much. It's third and eight on the 12. We've let Jones get away from us. They've got Walker. Well, they've got the Waller, actually. There's nobody on him. There's nobody on him. Yep. Now, let's see. It should be where the knee, not where he tried to stretch out right. and reach. Yeah, it looks like he's got a good spot. It's going to be fourth down no matter what. If he'd have rolled and reversed, we would have had trouble over here. That's what I was looking at. Nobody covered Jones again. And looks like the young field goal kicker, and he's a dandy, is coming on. Bales, I don't think has had an – he has not had an incompletion in the second half. No. David Willard to try the 
field goal. The ball is plunked down on about the 18. It'll be a 28-yard field goal. Kick is up. It looks good. I do not know. And it is good from 28. The other field goal was 29 yards. And TCA has taken a 20 to 17 lead at the 126 mark. Let's take a 30 second timeout. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. We are back here. TCA has taken the lead for the first time in the contest at 2017 with their fine young field goal kicker. No sign of Jalen Mosley. I have not seen him on the sideline. Have you, Tommy? I, I have not. I've been looking for him. And, and, you know, I know the kids are feeling bad because he's not in there, but we've got plenty of playmakers. We do not, you know. And TCA with good coverage. We... Really trying to reverse out. Yeah. Did not gain any yardage out of doing that. We'll start 75 yards away from the goal line. And let's see who comes out this time. Now, Blake Rowland was in at a wide out. And that, I can't tell until I see the back number, whether that's him or Easton. Now, well, both of them are in there. Well, you got D Moss in the back. Yep. Here's Easton Jones, yeah. and again, a shoestring tackle down there. Right. And that was by Hank Miller, it looked like. Where's number 22? Good yardage, Joe. Yeah, very good yardage, about six and a half. Right. Two men in the backfield. And that is Elijah DeMoss back there with him. Here's Easton. This time they got the penetration. We didn't. Easton, right. did he cough the football up? Uh, well. And we did. Another fumble. And TCA has gotten it back. Our defense is tired, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. We needed a drive, if nothing else. Those young men are to be credited. They've given it all they've got, but they've got uh, – over 40 carries, actually, at this point in time, is 42 carries by Tompkins pounding on them. Yeah, well, you know, we go back to the first part of the game, what we talk about, turnovers. You know, you got you to protect the ball. Absolutely. And we have kind of come unglued. Chip Anderson watching from Baltimore. And Larry Craig urging the defense on. On the 34 of Jackson Christian, here's Tompkins. He'll bounce outside, and we lost contain. There Flag could be a holding him. play, uh, holding call in the middle. I see Eli Craig there. Yeah. Trent Carrier and Big Cedric hustled out that way. 35 seconds left in the quarter. You can see it exactly on the power eight clock at 35.7. Holding against Trinity. Almost got to take that one, yeah. but we've got to play better pass defense than we've played. Well, we got to do better. Did you see how high that tackler came in? Yep. I mean, you, you, a man like Tompkins, you cannot tackle him high. And we got juked and we lost him instead of turning him back into right. the strongest people in our defensive line. Right. So from uh, the ball will be moved back. <laughs> and it will be placed down at the 44. Mm -hmm. Our secondary playing awfully loose. And other than Waller, you've almost got to come up and play press coverage on yeah. these guys. Jones is open if they throw to him. I'm serious, unless the one high safety takes him. And they're looking for Jones, but they throw underneath. Number five. And to number five, that being Zane Atwood. Right. Number five, Zane Atwood. 
That's just too much cover. I mean, it's yeah, just. We let them get nine of those back. Yeah. Everything clicking for TCA right now. Lions defense, tired young men giving you all they've got. Tommy Cobbins says he's watching. Cindy White Vincent wants the defense to come on. Here's the handoff to Tompkins. He'll get a couple of tough yards and he'll make it third and long. Cedric's there, Easton's there, Gavin Walker there. I missed one, Tommy. Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the spot. <laughs> well, it's something you gotta watch. It's been an interesting game and some interesting calls. TCA is going to let time run out. And at the end of three quarters of play, the TCA lines 20. Jackson Christian Eagle 17. Let's take a 30 second timeout. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. We are back on camera one. We are back and the uh, momentum Big Mo is completely in TCEA's favor, Tommy. Oh yeah. Yeah, somebody on the Jackson Christian side is going to have to step up and decide that uh, they're going to make a play. Got to make a big play. Now, East 4 will come to the loser of this contest field to play. The winner of this contest gets a bye. It is third and seven. Interesting spot. Should have been third and eight, but it's third and seven. Jones started in motion. I don't think the officials are ready to wind the clock. And here we go. Sprinting rights fails. He's got a man open. It does he see him? And they're go going against Mason Vaughn, and it's a touchdown in the back of the end zone. And that is Waller. Twenty-five yard touchdown pass to Waller is what I've got. I may have it had spotted it wrong. What? No. Waller just went up and over our defensive back. It's now 26-17 with the extra point to be attempted by Willard. Young man, it's up. It looks good. It is good. And it is 27-17. And the Eagles have to get 10 points to tie in 11 minutes and 51 seconds and have shown no inclination of any offense here in the second half. Yeah. Let's take a timeout of 30 seconds. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. We are back here and Jackson Christian is only down 10, but in dire straits, their leading playmaker has not shown and we have not even found him on the sidelines. And he did get hurt there on a incomplete pass that probably should have been pass interference, but I wasn't close enough. Here's the kickoff, and now Delk drills this one deep. Comes down to five, Easton Jones. We didn't get a man blocked, and he's gonna break our blocking up, and he will get out close to the 30, Tommy. Yeah, they actually credited that last touchdown to Delk. They, to Delk, okay, yeah. I will change it and make it Delk. Some of these jerseys, the way they took them, and yeah. you can't tell whether it's zero, eight, or nine. Exactly. Delk is nine and deserves credit for everything he gets, and that's the reason Tommy's with me. 11.45, 
The ball is at the 30. Jackson Christian's got to make some hay now. Sending Carrier to short motion. He'll set up as an H back to the right. They're going to try Deuce Lawrence. And again, we did not get a man blocked yeah. over there. And he was sitting there waiting for him. And that was three, Colby Moore, Jr. All right. And uh, I agree with several of y'all. Go Eagles, drive them back. Al Waldrop, Vincent, Serzer, Holly Link, Lotus, I agree with you about some of these things. We do not know where Jalen is, and uh, they probably not going to tell us either. Um, four down linemen for TCA. They run multiple defenses. They got penetration. Kelly running, running, throws it deep. He's got Jack Collins, and we did not hold on to it. The defensive back jumped for it and may have blurred his vision. Yeah, just a little underthrown. Uh, Jack had to come back, just couldn't haul it in. Uh, I would be thinking that they would go to Daniel uh, at some point, Daniel Green. Uh, I would too, because if you can get him headed up field. Right. And we are looking at third and ten. Well, that's just my way, Lotus, when I say interesting. Uh, you Jackson Christian fans know what I mean when I say that. Uh, it is third and ten. Possession down for the Eagles with 11.09 to go. Looking across the middle to Green, and it's behind him. Yeah. Wow. First down was there. Uh, ball just a little behind him. And it'll be a punting situation, but yeah. we may not punt. We may go for the 10 yards. It's fourth and 10. Jackson Christian looking to the sideline. They are going for it. TCA is going to play their regular defense. Some people say they're playing punt safe, but no, this is their regular defense. They'll bring one off the corner. As there's the short, quick kick again by yeah. Kelly. It does not take a Jackson Christian bounce. We down it, at, and that's Hudson Neubauer. Downs it at about their 46-yard line, and Big Mo is clearly in the favor. Somebody's got to rip the football loose from Tompkins or pick up another interception. Well, I, I do not imagine that Trinity's going to get too cute with their passing uh, to put it up. I imagine we're going to get a steady dose of uh, – it, it will be Tompkins. He'll go yeah. over 50 carries tonight. Right. They send two men out to the right. One of them is Zane Atwood, who had a big catch while ago. Two to the left here. They spread us out and get Tompkins. There you go. And this time we'll stop him, but he's still got a yard gain. Cedric's there. Kai Wyatt there. Right. Goff is there. We've got – is that Tompkins big Cedric down on the field? Tompkins is limping. He'll work it out. It's just a cramp, Tommy, yeah. I think. Yeah, big Cedric was slow getting up. Coming into the ball game is Colby Moore. He'll play, he'll play running back for Tompkins. Right. Yeah, it's just uh, when he gets that cramp out, he'll be back very quickly. Well, I'm going to look for them. To, they're probably going to run that option. I do not see them. They'll either run the option or throw that short pass yeah. looking for Jones or Delk. Right. And they go straight no, ahead. Straight ahead. And they blew us off the line. There yeah. was a hole you could drive a Mack truck through for about three for yeah. more. Yeah, Brooke Golf on the tackle. But, you know, we're sitting there waiting for him to come to us. we got to make a play on the other side of the line. Down. Yep. Third and a short five. Wide side to the left. We've got three down linemen. Bring a lineman off the corner or a linebacker. Yeah. And it's going to be fourth down, Caleb Newsom. Tompkins getting ready to put his hat back on. They started to send him back out there. Mm. And then the coach told him not to go. Number. And he does come out there. Okay. But I see Looks the punter like in coming in, too. Yeah. We're sending no one back. We'll yeah. have to guard their gunners. They usually have two outside gunners. They have gone for it on fourth down. Right. Easton Jones will drop back now much higher, much deeper than a one-high safety, about the 25. 
Let's see what kind of rush. Now, you have to cover these gunners. Watch for the short snap. Let's see what's up. It's going deep to the kicker. His kick, nice high spiral. Easton Jones signals fair catch and kind of bobbles and yeah. gets it and falls back. He should be giving the football a yard up from where he fell back. Yeah, that's where they got it. They, they okay. actually got a good spot that time. 8.46 left, needing two scores. Larry Forsythe is watching. We do not know where Jalen is, folks. I know a lot of people have sent that. Uh, and the, you're right, Cindy. You're absolutely right about this. Austin Kelly brings them out. We've got to make something happen. We go with a tight end to the left of the formation, two backs in the backfield. Jack Collins. Now we're being chased out of the pocket. Austin's got to run for his life and runs out of bounds after a pickup of three or four. No, he got, he got closer he get to five. Oh, he got good yardage out of that. Okay, and I try to use the chains, and they keep collapsing the chains over there in a little bit. Yeah, he, he did get five out of it. He got about six almost. And we needed some positive plays, and there's one. Here's another one. It'll be short of the first down. It's going to bring up another possession down, a third down. Is that? Gain of four. Third and a long one. One man to the right, two to the left. They give to Deuce Lawrence. They've got penetration, but the Deuce strung it out. Oh, he, he didn't got get it. He's not going to get it unless that second urge or surge got him. And I don't think he did. No, he he, he stayed uh, east and west too much. No, they're going to give it to him. Oh, okay. This officiating crew has been very interesting tonight. I, I, I did not think he got that. but I didn't uh, either. And we, we try to be honest with you about things. Trips left with Carrier and Jack Collins, and that may be. And there's TCA just getting too much penetration. Deuce well, has nowhere to run. Yeah. Deuce has got to cut it up, too. He's got to cut it up and go straight at him. Yeah, you can't run east-west, so no game for Deuce. Actually, they probably lost a yard. Yeah, lost at least a half yard. Second and ten and a half. Ball on the Jackson Christian 26 with time. Time is the enemy as much as TCA of Jackson Christian. Rolling in the slot, Collins. Got a wing back to the right of the formation. We want to throw it deep. Collins has a beat on it. Oh, he man. has to play defense on it to break it up. Mm. So an incomplete pass, and that brings up third and ten and a half. You know, the officials have made some, as I use the term, interesting calls, but we've coughed up a couple of fumbles. Yeah. We have not blocked TCA very well. They go with four down linemen. Maybe the only thing that can happen, they're probably going to drop seven into coverage. Motion with Roland. He'll set up on the far side. Uh, Austin needs more time, cranks it up, throws it up. Yeah. It's a little short, and it's going to be picked off. Intended for Roland, but it was five yards short. And number 20, Owen Atwood. Owen has been all over the place. Flag on the play. Let's see what the flag is. I think they're going to call Holden against the Eagles. I think uh, whether it's holding or not, I, I believe it's against us. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Oh, roughing the passer. Wow. Wow. Surprised us. Yeah. Uh, there should have been one of those in the first half. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Yeah, be. that'll be an automatic first down. Yeah. Should be an automatic first down. Maybe I am wrong. Like I said, I'm going to have to go back and read my officiating manual. 
Well, it's a personal foul. It ought to be 15 yards, yeah. is it not? That it should, should be. Yeah, that would give them and the And like first I said, I w I've learned something about the signal. See, in the old days, in the 70s, when I did a little officiating, uh, they didn't have the illegal motion signal like right. they do. They, they went, uh, your motion was with the rolling arms and stuff. Right, right. It's first and 10 for the Eagles, but they need to score quickly as time has become very precious. Slot left. Inside handoff to Easton Jones, and again, that tripped up. Very good, reaching out and grabbing a handful of leg was Hank Miller mm -hmm. for a short gain for Easton. He gets past that one. He's still running. Yeah, you can watch it again on the replay. That's a first down. And we, as we come back, there's a first down run. Easton Jones with the carry. Right at the 49 of TCA. Here's the snap, the fake. Quick toss out here. Carrier wanted to pivot and go. Now there should have been helmet to helmet contact on that one. Pick up about four. Trent Carrier with the catch. Pick up four, four and a half. Collins and Carrier to the right. Single receiver, Blake Rowland. They're trying to take the inside away from Blake. Throwing across the middle and oh. had it in and out of the hands. Good coverage, Trent but Trent nearly had it anyway. Yeah. Brings up third and about six. He had, uh, he had Daniel over there. There was four people covering Trent. I think he had a shot at Daniel. And uh, we want to implore the young men on the line. They're doing all they could. No. Rolling in motion. They look for him. They got a man covering him. Austin Kelly, you got to admire him. Gets the first yeah. down. Makes good a man job. miss. And finally, in the secondary, he was tackled by Colby Moore for a first down. Give Austin Kelly a big pat on the back for that run. Now, I'm going to tell you. They did not say anything. They, they started that drumming right when we got up to the line of yep. scrimmage, and they continued it throughout the play, and that's not right. No, it's not right. The handoff, Deuce Lawrence. Turn it up, Deuce. Turn it up. He'll get a couple of tough yards. He's got to get north and south, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 I know he's looking for the spot to break one, but sometimes just uh, cut, put your head down and get as much as you can. Second and eight, and the clock keeps running. The clock is more enemy now than TCA is. TCA has owned the second half. Kelly back, looking, looking. Throws in a little low and trying to dive and come up with it was our receiver. Uh, was that Mason Vaughn? or Mason, I think, yeah. Mason oh, and it's going to it, make it third and eight from the 31 of TCA. Just out of the field goal range of Zach Sisko, because you'd have to put it down on the 40. It'd be a 50-yarder. He has made some in practice. I don't remember a 50-yarder in any game, Tommy. Right. Vaughn is the widest receiver. And now TCA uh -huh. wants a timeout to talk their defense over. With the score 27-17, let's take a timeout. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Tommy, two downs to get the first down to keep this drive alive. Right. You don't need it all in one. Jalen Mosley has not made another appearance. We have not seen him on the sideline unless he's in street clothes. Two receivers to each side. The fake to Easton Jones, sprinting left. Kelly has not gotten any room to throw it. He's going to have to go out. Oh, oh. they tackled him out of bounds. Oh. There's not a penalty there. Come on now. 
You got. You oh, have Lord. just seen a travesty of justice. He was out of bounds then. Yeah. Let's see if we got a replay. He was giving. He was moving, pushing the ball out over the line and got hit way after that and pushed out of bounds. So it definitely. A horrible travesty of justice. Yeah. Trip flight on fourth down and about 11. Across the middle, and in and out of the hands, intercepted by Caleb Williams. Yeah. And with 5.08, Jackson Christian's got to have a quick stop. And I believe we only have two timeouts left. Pass is intercepted by number two, Caleb Williams. <laughs> A little tighter coverage this time, Tommy. But they're going to give yeah. to the running back, and yeah. that time we stop it in the A-gap. Right. Tompkins with the carry. No gain on the play. Cedric, one of the tacklers, could not pick up the other. Waller out here with Jack Collins. We have shaded Waller with Vaughn, Mason Vaughn out here. We put all of our points on in the first half, much like the University of Tennessee did. <laughs> there you go. Nice job right there. Yeah. Walker, Walker there. Collins helped with the stop there, but Kai White over there. They're, and so at third and nine. Yeah, they're they're not so much worried about yardage right now no. as they want to burn clock. That's right. Third and eleven, actually. Yeah, you're not going to see a snap till the ball's probably around the five or six second. And mark. with both, uh, they can see the clocks, so they'll hold it. And even if you couldn't, we had a seven-man crew tonight, but uh, I think they wasted. No, it is. He has to get in to have encroachment, fans yelling in front of us, sometimes blocking us where we can't see. We pull the guards, we get in behind the guards, make the tackle, yeah. and we may have to stop the clock right here. Yeah, I would think so. Let's see, it is fourth down and about 11. And Jackson Christian <laughs> has taken a timeout. Let's take a 30 second timeout on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumbleDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. And I am back, and again, I try to be professional, but we appreciate Gail Presley, a TCA fan, watching our broadcast. Uh, so and she wanted to watch the best broadcast, so she's watching the Jackson Christian coverage. There you go. Tommy, they've got to get that football down the field somehow. Yeah. But we also got to watch those gunners. Yeah. The people that cover the punts, watch no short snaps, they're punting. This one is returnable, and we fumble it. We are playing like it is a grease pig. Yeah. Now, we have the football, so I don't know why the wrestling match. And I will give TCA credit. They have out-physicaled us in the second half. And our uh, defense, bless their heart, they are worn down. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, you know, we knew he was going to have to stop the big man. 
Uh, didn't have a real good game plan in the first half. Now we've done a little better. I don't know if it's because he's tired or we've figured out, you know, but a uh, little better on the second second half. But uh, yeah, but we have not got time for a long sustained drive. No, no. we have got to put the ball now. That doesn't mean take chances. And Collins rolling and a wing back. We'll see who that is. One wide out far to the right. TCA in a one high safety. It's first and 10 from the 31 of Jackson Christian. And the noise situation, and it's not legal noise, it's illegal right. noise. You can cheer, you can beat on the bleachers, but it's either been the band or the PA system playing music over it. Right. Got to get their ball out and ours in. And they're still playing music. And there we go. But they're still playing the drums. Kelly with an empty backfield. All he has is a wing back, and the wing back's going out. We're going to try to throw long. It is overthrown. And Easton Jones intended for the incomplete second and ten. Three oh eight to go. And you know if we score that TCA is going to be looking for the onside kick. But we've got to put it in the end zone first, Tommy. Yep, yep. We've got to get the ball down the field. Uh, Austin's been a little off tonight, but his receivers have not helped him any either. So uh, And Gail Presley, TCA fan, we thank you for watching the, the Jackson Christian coverage. Kelly scrambling. Going to run it, and he'll pick up one and get out of bounds. It'll be third and a long seven. Yeah. And I do mean a long seven. It's really closer to eight. Right. Clock again. The enemy arrested at three minutes, as you see on the power eight clock. Of course, we want to thank Blacksmith, Jones, Chevrolet, Dynamics, Aloha Custom Pools, and many of our other sponsors like Great American Sports, the Blacksmith. We'll try to get you the names of some others. Trips left. Third and we'll just call it eight. Here's the short. Are they looking to throw short? No, he just threw it away. And uh, everybody wasn't on the same page. And we threw it away. And it is fourth and eight. This is probably the ball game, Tommy, right here. Yeah. You know, there's different philosophies when you're trying to play catch up. Uh, a lot of people like to go for the home run ball, but I found that most of the time, if you settle for the six to seven, maybe they'll break a tackle and break a long one. So I, I don't know. Well, we've had fumbles and interceptions. Yeah. Some unusual penalties, some that weren't called. Uh, on, it's been different. And we thought another interception. Yeah. This one is to Nick, Nick Jones, Jones, who's had a great night. He'll slide down. Yeah. And all TCA has to do is sit on it. I think we've only got one timeout yeah. left. And say hello to Marcia, Martha Sheffield. And glad to have you watching. Latoya Boyd, number one broadcast. Good work, guys. Thank you. And there is a timeout. Let's see if we can take a 30-second timeout. We'll be back after this. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. Great first half by Jackson Christian. The TCA has had the great second half, Tommy. Yeah, and it, it kind of started when when uh, Jalen went down. Uh, the team just had a kind of a letdown. I don't know if the injury was part of it or not. 
And I see Carlos Robertson in there. They run the ball and get good yardage, about six or seven yards yeah. going to their left. And like I said, I think we Mike can arrest the clock one more time. Right. Brings up second and approximately five. The ball is on the 40 of Jackson Christian. Couple of interceptions, some fumble recoveries. Some things like that have hurt the cause. And Chip, uh, that young man was, I um, believe, part of the middle school team. I'm not sure any of them are dressed out tonight. Second five, straight hand off to Tompkins. He'll go over the left guard or the – he it out to the B gap. Awful close. Yeah, he's going to be close. And a first down would pretty well nail it. Nail it, yeah. And the chances are – are very slim right now. Even if we get a stop, we would almost have to score on the first, first play, play we have the football. Yeah. And give hats off to TCA for they have brought it to us in the second half. We have not held on to it. They played f more physical than we have. Our defense, though, is to be commended for all the times they've had to hold it third and one. They'll let it run down as far as they can before they snap it. They'll give it to Tompkins. Yeah. Tompkins, and, and he's got it. Yeah. And that will, even though there's time on the clock, that will pretty well end it. Yeah. Even if we stop it the one time, there's enough snaps left that we couldn't stop it again. TCA will be the region champion. Now, the game is not over yet, but a right. TCA if, will probably go into victory formation. Yeah. They yeah. will let all 25 or 24 seconds roll off and possibly they, stop the clock. They, well, they could either stop it or just take the five-yard penalty. Yeah. There's several things, ways they can handle it. But there's, like I said. They're they, going to snap it with about two seconds. Yeah. Here's the snap, the handoff to Tompkins. He dances. Kai White got him down. Right. You know, this is, you know, you hate a loss, but this is not exactly the worst thing that happened. But the, the, the worst thing is uh, if we could have won, Jalen would have had an extra week to get healthy. So Absolutely. I don't, I don't know what his injury is, but hopefully it's not severe and he'll be back next uh, Friday. But uh, And we will do our best to check on it. It is second. And 10 for all practical purposes. Now, I don't know what the delay and everything is. I don't either. Uh, now there's a TCA timeout. And uh, he signaled Jackson Christian timeout. Well, it probably should have been Jackson Christian's timeout. Let's take a quick 30 second timeout. New Nissans are rolling in. Over 70 new Nissans to choose from. That means special incentives, 0% financing up to 60 months, and invoice pricing. So you pay what we pay. Plus over 70 pre-owned units. Something for everyone. Certified pre-owned to luxury vehicles, BMW, Lexus, Alfa Romeo, and much more at Carlock Prestige. Check out all we have to offer at CarlockNissanOfJackson.com. You should already be here. 50.2 seconds left on the power aid clock. TCA holding now a commanding 10-point lead at 27-17. Just need one more snap of the football probably. We'll see how it's played out. I believe that was Jackson Christian's last time out. Mm -hmm. They'll handle the ball safely here. Vales and Tompkins will do all the ball handling for TCA. And again, they give to... Tompkins, who has gone over 50 carries, I, I believe. Well, they will have to snap it one more yeah, time. And Tommy is absolutely right. He may just be at 48 carries. I'm not 100% sure because clock will run down. There's a four second differential. This will be the last play, victory formation. And the Jackson Christian defense very tired, but they never quit, Tommy. No, no, they played the whole game. They just uh, 
TCA wins this contest 27-17. They own the second half. Matter of fact, all but a field goal was scored. 24 of those points scored in the second half. Tommy, some quick thoughts, and then we'll take a timeout. Yeah, you know, hats off to Trinity. Uh, they played a great game, but we helped them a lot. Yes, we uh, did. You know, uh, a muff uh, onside kick, a uh, couple fumbles. You know, it, it, you know, hats off to them. Uh, they they played hard and they had a good game plan. Uh, so you know, we just buckle up our shoes and and try for next week's first round of the playoffs, and we'll hopefully meet them again down the road. Absolutely. We, as several texts have said, we love our Eagles, and we do. This means that the Eagles will play next Friday night against East Four, and I was not able to get any scores out of there. I know that DCA beat the, or is beating the stuffing out of Nashville Christian 35 to 10, but that doesn't help our situation any. Right. And uh, we'll try to see what's happening. Uh, the East Four will be our opponent. It could be Providence. Then again, it could be. Uh, well, well, we'll guess. We'll know on the Saturday Jay Sports Roundup and, in the morning. And I now. see Jalen out there on crutches. That is not good. Uh, he's got a right leg and a, uh, I don't know, if it's some kind of brace. That's one of those wrap around, or is it the air cast type? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's the wrap around that holds it in place, and we'll we'll search for a report. But we're going to take a three minute timeout, a three minute timeout, and come back with more post game. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor wants on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I will Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports. Make sports an addiction. 
And we're back for a wrap-up. Let me get uh, some of our great sponsors. Remember, the National Federation would be charging you $1,199 plus taxes in the state of Tennessee to see this broadcast that Worthy Road Studios and Jackson Christian has brought to you free tonight with our great sponsors. Support the Blacksmith, Carlock Nissan, Loha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, Coca-Cola, that's Powerade, Deaton's Carpet, Elite Dental, Nest Realty, Humboldt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep Ram, Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating and Air, Guinea Sutherland with Five Star Realty, Great American Sports, Southern Capital Advisors, David White Body Shop. Please support these advertisers. Tommy, your final comments. Hey, uh, great game. Like I said, I, we, we kind of knew what was going to happen. Uh, like I said, you, you had to keep the turnovers down. Uh, like I said, losing Jalen Hurt, but uh, we still had plenty of weapons out there. We just didn't uh, execute the way we should have. And uh, like I said, hopefully we'll get all that straightened out this week and uh, make a good run through the playoffs. Absolutely. Give the TCA defense credit. They yeah. bent but not broke. We were in control at 17-3 when we went into halftime, but uh, this is almost deja vu. I experienced this last week with yeah. UT. Yeah. And uh, TCA stayed with their game plan, came out determined, and officially somewhere between 48 and 51 carries for Lakai Thompson. Right. And uh, they hit passes when they had to. We right. had some good moments. We had an interception by Easton Jones. We had some great touchdowns. We had an early touchdown on a 60 uh, one yarder by Mosley, Austin Kelly to Mosley, but fumbles, interceptions, mm. East, and we violated a lot of General Nayland's rules. 61 tonight. yard to Easton. Easton. Yeah, yeah Easton. that was the Easton. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the uh, Jalen's was a little shorter than that, yeah. but um, and I'm glad Tommy's here. That helps a whole lot. Had some interesting calls, and we appreciate, uh, like, uh, Mark and Jan Beckham. Tough, tough game. You're right. Both teams played hard. And, uh, you know, our defense stayed on the field a long time. Yeah. Uh, it's like I said, every year. And, and I meant to ask, I know this is our second year playing here. Yeah. Or will they make that up and play us twice in a row at our place? No, that was because we changed, you know, the TWSAA. Re and that's the reason USJ is not in our region anymore. They moved up because they got too big to be in single A. Okay. And so you could wind up playing. Uh, Fate Academy played with us twice in a row. They played at our place yeah, twice, twice okay. in a row. Okay. And that, ha that happens sometimes yeah. in there. I got you. Folks, a, a nice win for TCA, and you want to pat the winners on the back. Our kids played hard. We just made those mistakes. Pat them on the back, back to the drawing board. It does force us to play. We do not have word on Jalen Mosley, and uh, we appreciate Tommy McLean helping it out. Tommy, we got to do this more often. Hey, son. man, I enjoyed it. Of course, you know, when, when y'all are at home, uh, I'm up over in next door, and y'all hear me over the loudspeaker. And uh, but uh, I'm looking forward. Like I said, basketball season's already started. I already did my first basketball game, and uh, but I really appreciate y'all having me out. Tonight. Well, we appreciate Worthy Roads. Thanks you. Our first basketball game for Jackson Christians not until the 14th of November, and uh, our we had a great crew here tonight, led by Billy Bolin and our executive director Paul Schultze, Tommy McLean, and I'm not sure we're going to get to have. The stats, Greg's still working on those for official stats. But it is time for us to say this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy, o Worthy Road Studios for 2023. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or further use of this contest, and that includes making highlight reels illegally, is prohibited uh, without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios. It is time to say thanks for your time. This time, till next time, good night all. Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.